Alright, hello and welcome back everyone. What? Is it gonna capture? There we go. Bam. <laughs> like, hello and welcome back everyone. We're back. We're back. Here we go. Task. For having fallen afoul of Novograd's underworld bosses, I disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing too, for indeed I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novograd. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the temple guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. Dun dun dun! And yet we're gonna go do Dandelion's quest line here. Oh, that's right, we need to go get the prop sword, of course. How's it going, Aaron? How are you doing today? Uh, you've got a question regarding Solaris? Shoot, go for it. What's the question? What is the question? You doing all right? Good to hear. Good to hear. Actually, before we get started, I pull my tea over here. Damn, there's some tea. I'm gonna grab my water as well. There's some water. Perfect. All right, prepped and ready. There we go. Hello, bards. Holy moly, you're a scary. As they say, a bard must be a quick talker, and a witcher a quick stalker. All's in order. <laughs> Well, all right then. Hiya. Hey. Eh? Nice dude. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm in a rut. I've such a hard time finding in inspiration. Mm. The roads where Can't help him with that. All right, we shoot through here. Ah, uh, backstage. Yes. Oh, hold on. Don't touch me. Well, that's fine. I don't, don't need to. I just need to touch these goods. All these, all these empty vials, sheepskin, alcohans, and dwarven spirits. You're not gonna need that, right? Right? Alchemist powder? Perfect. Uh, yesterday you were about to crush the enemy's last fleet, but your main fleet went MIA bef before even engaging. Does it happen, or did you experience a bug? Um, like, uh, during transit from one system to another it went MIA, or something else? Ah! I'm away, lady. Just picking up some stuff over here. No, don't you mind me. Oh, I did a lot, man. Nice. Just look at the freak. How dare you, man? What's up here? Oh, is this how we get on to? This is probably how we get on stage, yeah? Dumplings. Yeah. Uh, is this all props? <laughs> is this all fake food? Probably. It's all painted rocks. Yeah, during transit. I've not run into that situation before. I'm, I'm not sure. Um. I mean, I'm finding everything I'm looking for here, sir. Got some silk, got a bunch of dumplings. I mean, honestly, <laughs> oh, there we go. I was about to say. One thing we're missing is a little bit of beer. So, Marion Rye. Blades, water. Nice. Can I go through this door? That's nah, locked. Um. The only things I've had go MIA randomly during transit is, um. Like survey ships, like science ships and construction ships, and they run into any kind of enemy during transit. Uh, they'll just vanish into the ether, literally speaking. Um, if they uh, if they do vanish, though, I do know they will go completely. When they re when they came back, when they reappeared, were they at the were they at the same strength, or did they re did they have less strength? I guess is the main question. I guess that's the main question for me. Um, if they had less strength than they originally had when they were zooming about, going where you told them to go, uh, then that means that they were instantly defeated. They haven't returned. When you hover over the MI, uh, the... Uh, when you hover over the fleet in the outliner, it should specifically state, um, how long until they reappear. It should give you a, it should give you a time until they reappear. Um... If they if there isn't a time telling you until when it reappears, then I think you might have run into a bug. And I'm pretty sure I haven't seen a single situation. I don't check it often, but I don't think there's a single situation in which it doesn't tell you when they'll reappear. Ah, so good to see you. Hello, hello. Oh yes. You and Dudu know each other well. Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once. Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Mm. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, 
the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. Mm, true. Um, six months, enough time for them re to rebuild. Okay, so they must have instantly been slaughtered the moment they popped into that sector. Like, that's that's the only thing I can think of. It's the only reason why that would have occurred. That's really annoying. <laughs> that really stinks. I don't know what to tell you. Ugh. Uh, when they pop back in the six months, uh, you'll know for sure. If they've taken damage, that's what happened. If not, something else occurred. I don't know what it is. Uh, the two other fleets didn't go MIA, but actually engaged? Huh. I don't know. I, th I think it's that they, like, ran a simulation and they took damage immediately from entering the system. But, oh, well, you'll let me know in six in six months. Let me know, let me know what happened. Speed up the game time. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. Why? Whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. Mm. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Forever. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Oh, no, I don't think we're, I don't think we're competing. I think we're just, uh... I think he's probably staging a, um... You're like, the bats are slapping the butt like knocking us no. knocking us down or something. I don't know, some sort of mock battle uh, with us, likely. How's it going, Carcinogen? Hey, Carcinogen, guess what? Car hey, Car hey, Carcinogen, guess what? Guess what, Carcinogen? Carcinogen, hey, guess what? There you go. Here you go, Carcinogen, there you go. <laughs> I told you I was working on stuffs. Yeah! Yeah, Carcinogen, have fun. There's a handful in there. There's a handful in there. Yeah. I'm very happy with them. I was very... Oh, man, it took me so long to sort out what I wanted. Jeez. Yeah. Many yeah. There's also um, because remember we do have we uh, Twitch has put us into beta. Uh, there are also uh, some that I added for anyone who just follows the channel to be able to use as well. So there are just emotes that anyone who follows the channel can also use. So there are two new ones there too. Oh, it's over here. It's almost right past it. Hmm. After dusk? Well, it's about now. Two of you. Oh. I thought I thought it was a cutscene. I was just trying to pick up this pine uh, this pine creep and then <laughs> started staring at the Can I not pick this up? Guess not. Yeah, it's a T emote. T emotes. Oh here we go. That's a cutscene. Ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. Mm -hmm. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right oh, away. Oh, Dandelion, come on, man. That's it? That's your plan? Pretty good, actually? That's it? That's your plan? Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant. Okay, but granted. any kind of plan is better than none. Uh, written your lines already. You've written what? What? So you know what to say during the performance. Here. Dandelion, Andrew please. Has, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. I... Uh... I didn't even get to read my lines. Stop right there. What is this? Help! Save me! Uh, don't, uh don't read the card. Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. We'll read Not the card. So fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I! Though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. Oh no, Dandelion, please. Well, I'm just gonna keep reading the look. Oh, it's, it's fine. No, not the Crimson Avenger. 
Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Dandelion. I mean, Crimson Avenger. Oh, how long you gonna make me wait? You're better than I thought. Now, that's a lot of damage, Dandelion. Jeez, I'll just counter him a little bit. I don't know how much I'm allowed to hurt him, so I'll just I'll just counter him every now and then here. There we go. All right, Dandelion, you get the next hit. Oh, you got me. Crimson Avenger triumphs again. My hair. Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. Be gone, vile bandit, or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless. Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh, wait, this is actually permanent damage, too. Jeez, I'm gonna drink some water. Holy moly. Oh, my goodness. Dandelion. <laughs> it's fine. You know what? It's fine. Yeah, we're, we're friends. We're friends with Dandelion. It's fine. Yeah, cringe, right? Right? Oh my goodness, Hydrate, you got it. Oh my goodness. Oh my good gracious, okay. <laughs> that was... No, not the Crimson Avenger! <laughs> wingman? I will... Well, Wingman, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll do what's necessary, we're friends. But, like... Dandelion, please. Some original... Oh, okay. I, you don't you don't need that old one? No? You okay. <laughs> so, like, he just drops drops one torch, and he's like, what do you want? Lights a new one. Okay. Alright. He's just flexing on me. So, I've got... I brought two torches to this watch. Like, Alright, sir. <laughs> Whatever you say. Willows. God arrived there just before winter. Black wolves didn't do no harm, not at first. Till gorillas attacked their garrison, that is. Then they set out all rules alight. Why? You hadn't done nothing to them? Nilf guardians are strict masters. Exact punishment for every crime, even if they can't catch the criminal. Mm. Ah! I'm always there. Uh, jeez. Alright. You got them torches for days? No kidding. You make a splendid mama. You always wear tight trousers. Yes, I do, ma'am. Yes, I do. Man, there's more courtesans in here than there are patrons. Good gracious, okay. I don't know how that works out. Luckily, we're here for a stash. We can drop off a handful of these, uh, these trophies. Keep stacking them up. Do like that. Uh, Zalgrim win. I haven't decided on how I want that done, so... Time. Time. Um, actually, real quick while I'm here, while we're, while we're looking at a menu, let's go ahead and, unfortunately, um, no, no one was willing to fight um, Arid uh, on what tea it was. We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll close that out. Because, um, what, I need to decide on how many more? One... It, min minimum one more, one more emote needs to be sorted out. Um, but then we could do like they—they've also added bit emotes. So there's emotes for donating bits. I, I don't know. Like I'm still, I'm on the fence about tier two, tier three sub emotes. I'm like I don't know. I don't really, I don't really like the. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't like the idea too much. But bit emotes maybe, maybe. But at least one more. You know, uh, you'll keep uh, you'll keep pestering about it though. I understand. I understand. Uh, so there's no option to smack Dandelion. No. Well, we could have beat him up, but I didn't really feel like a good idea to do. Yeah. Uh, we could always swap out the, with the heart emote because we have the one for followers to use and the one for subs to use. Because you can't use follower emotes outside of this chat channel. Yeah. Like if you go to any other channel, you can't use. If you follow here, you can't use those emotes anywhere else. So that's why I have both of them, so that I can be used both there, both here and there. Um, but we could always drop one of them, I guess, uh, and swap that out, so we can get two more emotes, I guess. You have an idea? Take care oh. of yourself, dude. No, there's nothing new for us to talk to him about. Oh, those bigots haven't the cunning to strip me of this mask. On top of me. Oh no! If I do that, then there's like an infinite number of options there, Carson. That sounds 
That sounds like a scary idea to me. Infinite number of options. All right, let's go ahead and <laughs> exactly. I mean, oh, I don't know. It's a little terrible. Step by step, Chris. Just step by step. Right. It only it only took me a year. Right. <laughs> it only took me a year to sort out these ones. All right, let's go stand over here, and we'll go ahead and meditate until morning. Wait till a little after morning. What's we'll eight, eight? Oh, okay. Or instantly. No. Oh fuck! Don't write it now. Yeah, we didn't even get to eight. We woke up at. We stopped meditating at six forty-five. All right, deadline. What happened? There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today, so we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in, and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peaches. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, where are our choices, Strange? What are the choices? How's it going, Neuster? I'll get to you in a moment here. Hmm. What are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. <laughs> now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Gavron, you've known him longer. Say something. Ah. Uh, yeah, Dandelion's in this for you. You should decide. I mean. Carnage Theater. Uh, Carnage Theater of a kind. The decor should be theatrical. Style. I, I don't know. It should be theatrical, though, I think. Oh, should we have her decide? One of the most sarcastic, posh, high society um, men that you've ever heard in a long time. Oh, man, I, I'll have to read it. Did I get some lunch? All right, see you around. Oh, man, I actually don't, I don't know what to pick. I'm kind of half, half tempted to pick boudoir, <laughs> you know, it's fitting. Yeah, sure. Boudoir seems like a better fit for cabaret. Just don't go overboard on stuffed upholstery. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. <laughs> Good gracious. Well, well. Guess this cabaret is the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. Talking about the same dandelion, man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night. Dandelion can also be responsible. <laughs> he always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure, I hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find Yeah, it. I was gonna say, Dandelion? Trouble? Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Alright, Dandelion. What'd you do this time? So he went and he secured the loan with the lady because of our, our apparently amazing performance. Who knew? Um, Looks like rain. Yeah. Ooh. Miserable rainy rain. Um... But I imagine he, uh, took a little bit more than a loan, right? Oh, no, he's here. He's fine. I don't know. What's the ruckus about? 
Polly and her half-brained fiance. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Ho ho hold on. What are you doing here? We were gonna meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice! Less for her than for you, I'm sure. <laughs> so let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've gotta help Polly! Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? Yeah, I wonder about that. No idea. Stand back and break the door down. <laughs> Wait, do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. All right. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio, you'd visit her often. Mm -hmm. I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary and Time. They worked on the dance numbers I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. Wait, what? One exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter and start looking. <laughs> Alright, we'll look for the key. Fine, let's find the key. It's literally under that stone. Nice. Find anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah Dandelion, I got a sword. Hold on. Hold on. Um. Well, probably just wants to cry. Could be Pat. Could be. How's it going, Pat? All right, Newster. We got a dramatic reading. What's going on here? Um, is that I card? A card? A card? Pursuant to paragraph 1290, I hereby formally request third-party arbitration of a dispute. Furthermore, pursuant to subsection D3, I name the... What is this? Gri Gris Griselia? To arbitrate? Fortunately, they are currently in their hibernation cycle. However, they will... Wait, I know... I okay, I do... I remember this. However, they will awaken in six months, at which time we can get this matter settled. Uh, she, what is that, Shelak? Absurd! We can't carry a, uh, the membership. Uh, we can broker, no delay. Picard, then I hereby... Oh, you're missing a P for Picard at the start. That's why I was like, Ickard, I'm so confused. <laughs> I, I, I picked it up halfway through, though. I picked it up halfway through. Then I hereby declare this treaty in uh, abeyance. That was when um, there was like, I, I can't, like, jeez, it was like season two or something, where it was like this dark, ominous shadow or something that they wanted, like, the, the sector territory or something for, right? Some ominous, shadowy thing, right? Pretty ridiculous. That was a great episode. Man, I can barely remember it, but yeah, that was pretty good. Not here. No? Oh, I was, like, super confident. Okay. There it is. Uh, the key. In a bucket. The key in a bucket in a bucket indeed. Alright. And we get. Damn it. Knock knock. Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my ass! Watch it. And leave the woman alone. What the She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property. I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut up, or I'll split your skull. Listen, let Dandelion explain. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right. That was really so, diplomatically said. Wow. Rubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt, but its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. 
Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Hold on, hold on, let him finish. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. <laughs> so, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose. In that case. I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Oh, we'll find out what this choreography well, is. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. Well, I mean, coin was involved. You handled it well. Uh, would have been quicker if you left me. No, no, no. You handled it fine. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. True. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. Oh. So, time Smart. to head back. I've still got to stop by Rotlegs. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Hmm, that's not good. It's not cheese, Pat. No, please. <laughs> um, let's see. Ashi uh, Shai, about to get some sleep. All right, sleep well, Pat. Have a good one. Who's Rodlick? Never heard of him. Nope. Hank. Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Nope. Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Smart. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. Yeah. Makes sense. All right, I'll get him. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No. Said that for the hell of it. <laughs> Tell me where he lives. <laughs> Port side. See you soon. Wasn't really direct on how to get there, but all right. Off we go. Get this thing sorted out. All right, Rotlick. I imagine we're gonna end up running into some like he's he's gonna need us to go get paint or something. <gasps> he's gonna need us to go get paint. I remember, like, weeks ago, there was a place that was selling paint and it had the quest, uh, quest marker icon on it. He's gonna need us to go get paint. Ah, uh, there we go. Fistek addict? Actually, I think I have some Fistek on me. No? No? Okay. I think I have some on me, actually. Damn, if he wants to buy it. Oh, bandits, hello. Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn our things in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcass is picked clean. Mm. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first served. Come where he is and I'll give you some money. Uh can't you steal from him? Yeah, come on, man. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Oh, I can't do that right now. Perfect. So this means this is a pure fist fight. <gasps> oh my goodness. I'm not ready for this. I can't. Oh, geez. I can't dodge. Well, how long are you going to make me wait? Can I drink some water? I can't drink water during this. Oh, this is really awkward. I'm going to get knocked out. Um, I can't drink any potions. All right, I can only fight them one at a time. I cannot fight them two, two at a time. Come on. Just, come on. Come on up here. Come on, you. Yep, yep. You're almost there. There we go. Back it up, 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 back it up. One at a time now, one at a time now. 
back up. One at a time now. Come on now. Big counter. One, two. Back up. Come on now. <laughs> this is really dangerous. We're playing on extremely hard difficulty here. Oh no! Geralt, no! Geralt, back up. Back up, Geralt. Geralt, Geralt, please! Okay. Oh, back up. Okay, here we go. Now I'm ready. All right. Pathetic. Okay, big hits. Counter. Big hits. Oh, I missed. Oh, backhand. There's the knee! Come on. One more go. Come here. Come on. No, not you. Go away, you. No, go away, you. Back up. Okay, I got him with a... Okay, perfect. I got him with collateral damage. Come on, one. Oh my good gracious, that was so close. <laughs> Tell me what you want. Damn it. <laughs> placards. There ain't no plowing placards here. Oh my goodness, so, so Rodrick, close. Where's he? Same place as always. Fakal butter state. Oh, seriously? Losing his last crowns at the races. See, wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. Woof. Geralt of Rivia. Stair fighter. Uh, also, I can't let you. I can't let you steal from Rotlick. Now I'm gonna go see what he's got in his house. <laughs> hmm. Uh, nothing all that important. Oh, there's some booze in here. I see. Yeah, I imagine we're gonna have to buy some paint because look at all the paint that's everywhere. Literally everywhere. A ladle, meteoritic ore, some water. Ooh, don't please don't jump. Girl, please, more water. Paste. Oh my goodness, we got some lemon. Nice. Oh, you know what? We need to go run by a tavern. We need to pick up some um, some cherry and mandrake. And I think we can make another. Um... Right. Oh. The one thing. That's... Hello, everyone. Uh, I think we need to go and get some uh, cherry and mandrake, and we can get some more uh, upgraded. Bombs and potions going. That'd be nice. Let's jump over here real quick. Let's go see if we can buy some real quick from here. Out of my way, lady. Come through. Uh, bartender, bartender. All right, Oliver, what you got? What are you serving today? What you got? One mandrake? That's not what I need. I'll take it. It's not what I'm looking for. Oh, oh, we can sell all of our garbage to him. Gracious. Oh, should go run by Vivaldi real quick. We'll sell to the standard merchants. We'll get more from them than we will from Oliver here. All right, so let's go talk to standard merchants and sell off some garbage, and then we'll go and talk to Vivaldi and swap out our uh, currency. Oh, this is the book guy. That's not useful. Uh, I don't need to sell to him. I need to sell to you, rug merchant man. Welcome, welcome. What have you got there? What do you got? He sells books. What? It's in front of rugs. So long. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, we can at least go and repair oh. our armor. Top notch swords. Show me what you have in stock. All right, we can at least go and sort out our repairs. Ah, including we can repair this <laughs> that blunted sword. I had to repair it. Okay, good. Um, shop. Uh, we can at least go and we can sell this stuff. Ampson, trousers. You still want to hold on to the shirt, yeah? Kid Winnie Kuros. Okay, so we'll go to the actual blacksmith for those. We'll get more from them. What do you have? The Favaxi, when Igni. We'll just buy these, why not? Bearden. We, we have like 12,000 buccarinos. We might as well. we got plenty on hand. Uh, but we want to drop our weight a little bit more here if we can help it. Uh, nothing for crafting yet, but we will soon. So long. We'll come back for crafting soon. Not yet, though. All right, Vivaldi. How can I? Uh, Vivaldi, I need you to change my things. Let's just 
skip his dialogue here real quick. Yeah, 99 crowns we swapped out from florins and orins to crowns. Go to the blacksmith over here. My goodness, he starts so late in the day. <laughs> I swear. Gonna wait two quick hours. It's a late starter. Kind of, kind of like his schedule. It's nice. Need something sharpened, reforged. Uh, I need a cell, in fact. What do you have on offer? What you got on hand? Well, um, sell the pickaxe, which actually I think did like an insane what? Oh, I'm using. A, I've got a blunt sword attached, uh, equipped right now. That explains it. So long. Huh. Um, probably should get this swapped out before I end up in trouble. Yeah. Before we end up going to try and fight someone and, uh, well, it doesn't go so well. Alright, good enough. I really do hope that guy sells those weapons soon, gets some money, and then we can actually sell to him, but uh, I don't know. Alright, we, we need to go to the Va uh, Vagelbud's estate, which means we need to go grab Roach. It's a good ways away. So is there anything in between us and there that we wanted to get done? Yes, let's go to Seven Cats Inn. I think there's something we need to go and sort out over there, yeah? Yes, you! You've got water on the brain! I mean, it's raining, so yes? What an odd fellow. What a peculiar man. Hmm. Let's get out of town and then we'll go grab Roach. We can't run that, uh, we can't gallop on Roach inside the city, so it doesn't really make too much sense to be riding. But once we get outside of the city, we can go grab Roach, though. Out of my way, sir. Oh, Roach. Oh, come on. Dups of daisies. Oh, I can't do that yet? Oh, lost this pudding. <laughs> Although we still run at the same speed as sprinting as Geralt. Bummer. There we go, now I can sprint. Perfect. We're on the main road going out of town. Uh, but yeah, let's go over to the Seven Cats real quick. So I could have sworn there was something else we still needed to do there. I didn't think we finished everything. Let's see here. Uh, is there anything on here? Warning. Whoever makes records in seven cats. Uh, we get tossed out. Warning. Innkeepers beware. There's a gentleman by the name of Orin. We gotta go find Ordrin. We gotta, we gotta find him. Don't know where he is. We gotta go track him down. Hmm. Hand wanted. Missing letter. Waitress. And special dinner. Something for us. Wild one. You seek something, mate. A bit road weary, are we? Huh. The devil walked a crooked path. Welcome to the Seven Cats, the luckiest tavern in town. They even say the hangovers are wine begets the lucky. Hmm. Oh, we've already talked with her. Well, we might as well see if she's got What's any on the menu cherry. Today? Any cherry cordial? Uh, cordial for us? Got some lemon. Ah, there's cherry. Cherry cordial. Nice. I'll pick up some more mandrake while we're here. Might as well. It's useful. Uh, man, she had a lot of money on hand. A thousand off of all so, that. Where did we teleport? Okay, <laughs> we teleported way over here. Alright, not by the door. Uh, but perfect, so we can go ahead and we can get a quick spot of alchemy done. Because with that, uh, with that cherry cordial, we can go ahead and we can make a new one of these. Oh, Redeeming Herbal is actually necessary, huh? I've just never, I've never noticed we always have so much. We're gonna need to get more of this soon. This rate. Can't make any oils, can't make any potions. We already have that one. Oh, we can make a decoction. Doesn't need the, oh, it doesn't need the, oh no, wait, that's right. We need to make the, the alchemical versions of things. What is this? Oh, Earth Elemental Decoction. Increases the Witcher's resistance to vitality, de uh, depleting critical effects applied during combat. Resistance level rises the longer the critical effect is applied. Oh, so like bleeding and poison. This increases our resistance to bleed and poison the longer we have it active. 
Interesting. It's actually not a bad one. Alright, so not decoctions, but bombs. What do we have here? We need uh, Negrito if we want to get the Deuterium bomb, which we don't really need because we already have the one that lasts that's permanent, the moon dust. Or we can get the Samum bomb, which requires Aether, which also isn't really necessary. Uh, let's take a look at potions. These are the ones I'm, I really want to get done. It would be the superiors. Black blood, don't care too much about. Golden Oriole, it's okay. Is this just, no, it doesn't make it permanent. Potions now heal instead of dealing damage. Wait, what? Our poisons now heal? Whoa. <laughs> okay. What's this one? Uh, in addition, the Witcher's blood injures and knocks them back when they wound him. Whoa. Yeah, Shadow, like, Shadow, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm like, Shadow, this is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, also grants one adrenaline point upon consumption. It's pretty good. I like these superiors are great because they give an extra effect. Uh, increase the sign duration or sign intensity and duration. Signs uh, always apply their special effects. No way. This means we always stagger or always burn people, even if they're significantly higher level than us. This means that even if they're too high a level for us to be able to normally set on fire. We guarantee burn them. Holy smokes, this is nuts. What's the swallow potion? Taking damage does not, in oh my goodness, does not interrupt regeneration. What? I need a second fit. You need two? Jeez, okay. Greedy much. Oh my goodness, greedy much. And requires a white bill. Holy moly, okay. Yeah, you just need to be upgraded though. <laughs> so this one extends duration, but this never expires at night. So someone mentioned this before. I want this. But to get this, I need to go get some uh, Aerocopsis um, Venom. I literally don't know where to get it. I kill the things, and they never drop the Venom. So I don't know how I'm supposed to get the Venom. Wow. These are pretty good. Um, I don't think I have any of these that I need. Ah, oh, here we go. Cursed Oil. But I don't have any more... Uh, troll liver. Devour blood. Yeah, I need to get devour blood. I used it for something else. Wow, it's devour blood for both relict oil and for necrophage oil? Nuts, okay. I can't remember what we used it on. Oh, we used it on the uh, superior um, hangman. Man. Maybe we just kill a bunch of devourers. That blood's used in three things. It's nuts. It's the OP neutralizer. Yeah, it's pretty OP, Lieutenant Waters. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. Also, welcome back. That's just... That's just bonkers. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do some alchemy soon, but we need to go pick up some more... Um, we need more cherry cordial. So we're going to have to go and run around to a whole bunch of taverns, bars, and whatnot, see if people selling that stuff for us. Come on, Roach. Let's go. Come on, Roach. Off we go. Oh, swear we did that ambush. Go save Dandelion. Alright. Just get over to the races real quick. Figure out what's going on with uh, good old Rotlick. That's a, oh my goodness, the horses are still here. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I know, right, Roach? Jeez. You're in the spreadsheet mines today? So it's, oh my goodness, so it's great to have you in the background? Hold on. Don't worry. I'm glad I could help you. Oh my goodness, the spreadsheet mines. It's a, it is a terrifying place to be, uh, be chained to. It's uh, interesting for like maybe the first 10 minutes when you're figuring out what you're going to do, and then, um, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, Rutlick, seems you're a considerable sum in the red, but you shan't back out on that account, eh? You won't have much of a choice before long. Come now, old sport. 
We can't allow that. Who'd I wager with then, eh? Listen, here's what we'll do. We'll make one more bet. If you win, I'll pay your debts and we'll continue playing. What do you say? And if I lose, one worry at a time, old chum. Well, I have to place my bet. Oh my goodness. Ugh. You're absolutely spot on. Yeah, I've done spreadsheets before, right? I know how it goes. <laughs> um, you, Rotlick. Henri Rotlick. Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them. As a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm to wager on a race. Count de Louverton. Who? Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. De Louverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well known family of gem dealers. Hmm. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. Uh, what's to worry about? What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to De Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Oh, it's only 200. It's literally. It's literally only 200 crowns? Seriously? That's what you're indebted to? We've got 12,000 in our pockets right now. We're actually getting slowed down. Like, we're alerting monsters a mile away where we are. Should we just pay them off? We'll just ask for the placards here. Listen, all I really want are the placards. Tell me where you tucked them away and I'll be out of your hair. Forgive me, I cannot. I hid them with family heirlooms that would work those barbarians lurking outside my home into a slavering froth. Mm, then go fetch them yourself. I'll wait here. If I show my face there without coin, they'll beat me to a pulp. I must win back my debt somehow, else I'll never return home. Here, like, literally just take the money. Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Perfect. Done. Off we go. It's just like, honestly... We could go for a race, and we... I'm pretty sure we'll win, but I don't want to risk it, you know? I'd rather just pay off the debt, because, again... It was 200 crowns. <laughs> like... We're fine. <laughs> Geralt the sword dealer over here is, uh... He's earning quite a lot. From both selling his sword... And selling everyone all the swords he finds just lying around on the ground. People just haphazardly leaving swords on the ground. Don't know what's all that, well, that's all about. There's a lot of sell swords, mercenaries, bandits, and um, uh, vagabonds, brigands, and uh, deserters that just seem to be dropping their weapons here, there, and everywhere. Don't you worry. Geralt's all about reusing and recycling. Get a good coin out of it, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, uh, one of those, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah. No, I understand. <laughs> I got, yeah. Oh, I understand. Um, right, let's continue We're running along. Uh, you want to be stealthy, Witcher? But my, but my dummy thick coin pouch alerts on the monsters? Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> the jingle of the coins calls to the monsters. Yeah, they're like, oh, this, it's, this, you know, because like a jingling coin pouch means a fat, happy merchant, right? So that means, like, you know, a nicely marbled piece of meat. Yeah? Right? <laughs> like when you're so rich, all the monsters come to the... <laughs> so rich, um... Uh, so, wait. It's like trying to navigate and read at the same time. 
uh, like when you're so rich, all the monsters come to the yard and they're like, I want to kill you and eat that and eat your face. Yeah, exactly that. That's that's you're like a right spot. You're like spot on, actually. You buy a girl sword any day? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, look look at these swords, right? <laughs> what is that? It's three winks. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's get over here. All right, dandelion, sorted it out. Oh, don't step in that. That's gross. A little bit of cross country jumping. Oh, yeah, look at this congregation here. Jeez. Oh, this way? Oh, that's technically, this entrance is going to be closer to Dandelion's place. True, true. No use doing any work in this rain. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty heavy rain. Alright. Oh man, wait, dandelions? Wait, the rosemary and thyme? Oh my goodness, the rosemary and thyme is literally right at the gate. Oh my goodness, what a, what a real estate spot! Wow. I'm impressed. Look at this. Huh. Dark MG major and I told you the piece is sad. Long live Geralt of Rivia. Needs an I'll save you. But I wanted to. To ruin everything. We're starting in on Let's just eavesdrop him before we walk on in. How's it going, cool? How are you doing today? A little bit of dancing. I was expecting it to be like... I mean, it's nice in here. I was just expecting it to look even nicer. That's all I'm saying. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. No. No, not all. But I'd imagine something more... You know, more theatrical. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Thyme wasn't all bad, but it conjured images of Tamerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. True. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret. Apart from which, it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. Mm, can't really disagree. What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Premier will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Uh, okay. Okay. There you go. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. Yeah. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Absolutely. It's been hard work. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And she say anything about me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> your fat, you smell. She praised your rationale. Yeah, she did. She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? <laughs> that you're responsible. Got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. No. Not this time. That's what I thought, right? Yeah, like <laughs> the dandelion's like, wait, uh um... One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, 
wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? Okay. All right. I, I honestly expected. Okay. She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time, you know. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> dandelion. What's the dandelion? Priscilla, she's... What? Speak, man. She's badly, uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. All right, what, what, what happened? Hydrate, you've got it. Priscilla, is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. Oh Beg my your goodness! Pardon, but you are a relative. Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Hmm. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly, someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Jeez. No robbery, no ordinary attack? Yeah. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery? Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. What? No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This it's is now. an overgrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. No promises on Don't the second. Convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Hmm. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Oh, this man. Nice. Great analogy, but this tumor is not going to sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, hmm. and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make. Harder to back up, oh. especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morning star, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat. I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. All right. Let's go. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. <laughs> Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Yes, let's go. Mm -hmm. Ready and intrigued. Yes, very. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. You lead. Alright. Wait. Is this the entrance by the Kingfisherman? So, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Think. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to nip the problem in the bud? 
I tried to get the temple guard to enter the sewers, alas, to no avail. So I took matters into my own hands. Wait, Let what? Me charge, you damned idealists. Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. A crossbow. So he's he's been down here killing drowners. Well, I I knew I liked this guy, but I like him even more now. Oh, okay. Well, unless he starts screaming like that, in which I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh, back up. There, there, don't worry, I got you covered. Just got a mace. What oil is on our weapon? Oh, there's still some elemental oil left over on the weapon. Nice. Unfortunately, he is going to be... Oh. Unfortunately, he is going to be hitting enemies, which means it's going to stop them from staying burning forever, which is unfortunate, because it interrupts the burning process. Yes. Oh, water hag. <laughs> Please don't shout like that. It makes it makes you sound like you don't know what you're doing. He was just like, I'm super cool, and now he's, he's screaming like crazy. It's okay, we'll just burn this water hag real quick here. I know, hard work being a witcher, true, true. All right. Next up, we got some more drowners. Luckily, it looks like the crossbow doesn't interrupt the burning. Either that or he's a really, really poor shot. There's one. Oh, there's two. I kill one, another takes its place. I know um, how you feel, believe me. Oh yeah, very true. But also, how do you know I killed him? Up? Yes, it's not far now. Risa, okay. how's it look? Give it to me straight, no sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. What? Hmm. Okay. Take the ladder. Okay. Ups of daisies. Does this just go straight into the morgue? Is this where they just it dump the, the bodies? Place. Come. The quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Huh? Human. Wrong body type. Let's keep looking. Oh, let's open for some info on that. There he is. Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. Oh, no, it's a man. Um, not in this room, I guess. Through here. What's he coming with? Oh, yep, there are more bodies. That's not a dwarf. This isn't it. Let's keep looking. Okay. What else we got here? Hmm. It's just a lady. Oh. Saw red for a moment there on the screen. Left side of the screen. Hmm. How's it going, Snowmack? How are you doing today? Uh, the will to live for love, indeed. Oh, that makes yeah, that makes sense. There's that dwarf. Look at the halfling first. A dwarf, but the hands. Oh. Not a carpenter's. A banker's, more likely. That's gotta be him. If this one's a she. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. Ah, that's right. That's a lady dwarf? Man, uh, it's really hard for me to tell. I'll have to see them standing to make life easier. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood. Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Uh, I don't think we need to go check there. I think we're fine. Uh, head. Let's look at his head. 
Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Hmm. Let's go, player new. Hydrate, you've got it. Uh, you never know with those dwarves. It's true. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some gray dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Jeez. Um, holy smokes, that's insane. Okay. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla's. Okay. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. What? Okay. Back right, to the torso. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Hmm. Something was removed, maybe. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. Something stuffed in? He's really digging. Yeah. An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Oh, no. Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochran was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Oh, no. Does this mean the salamander are back? I thought we destroyed them in The Witcher 1. Oh, okay. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Okay. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Oh, trust me. I once fought a zoogal up to my waist in sewage. So We're I fine. Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat's scalded. Hmm. Only certain people could get formaldehyde. Makes this easier. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagor. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. Hmm. Yeah, Waters, I'll give you one just one. I'll give you a rundown of Salamander once we're done running through this here. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot, the ankle swollen, toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard hmm. right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. <laughs> yeah, apologies, we surgeons, we have a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. Oh, you know, helps to get through the day, right? His genitals, we ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... Shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Alright. Alright. 
think I know enough. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Uh, this is a ritual murder. This is punishment. No motive murder is madness. Rather than share my conclusions. No, this is punishment. It's not a ritual. Sure of one thing. This was punishment. Even the witch hunters don't engage in this kind of torture. What sin could possibly merit it? Only the murderer knows that. And it's the key to finding him. Or her. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. No oh, awkward. But Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student, lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Hmm. You old friends? Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. Hmm. You've not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate of Far Corners. Hmm. That poor Trebirance was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. <laughs> All right. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. True. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. Mm. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case, I will let you know. Perfect. Hmm. Thank you. Don't want a quick rundown of what we found? No? Oh, okay. Yeah, who is he? Nathaniel. Who is he? A scoundrel. A rogue. Like every man who wears the robes of the eternal fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer. Delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the aisle, and so forth. Mm. Dream job. <laughs> All right. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. Ah. I've said enough on the subject. Won't press. Yeah, I won't press. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. <laughs> I'm watching you. Alright. Hey, guard. Bloody bum. Well, okay. Jeez, man. Oh, there you go. How's it going, Badger? How are you doing today? Uh, that guy sure is sweaty and wet. That's true. Well, oh, it's raining outside. You know, that's what it is. Hydrate, you got it. If you're thirsty, um, <laughs> if you're thirsty, you can just lick his face. No. 
I've got some perfectly good tea, Badger. Perfectly good tea. Alright. Uh, we need not the boats to scale again. What? Cardinal Sins, I think this is the one. Is that right? Yeah, this is the one. Corpse Collector, examine Woodcarver, investigate the alley. Let's go talk to the Corpse Collector first. Seems like the right thing to do. Alright, so, um... Waters, the, um... So, Lieutenant Waters, the... The Salamandra. Uh, Salamandra, not Salamanders. But they, they had a, um... Their symbol was a Salamander. They were, like, this... You know, crazy cult and oh, kitty okay, cat. Uh, they're this crazy cult that was causing all sorts of problems in the uh, Witcher One. They were working with uh, uh, I can't remember the guy's name at this point. Uh, the 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 original big bad evil guy in uh, in the Witcher One who came by and ransacked Kaer Morin, uh, Geralt's home base of operations, uh, and took the mutagen that's used to actually make Witchers. Uh, he stole it. Um, he, uh, we, we went to go track him down. He worked with Salamandra. Hey, you. The... Yes, you! You got water on the brain! Yes, it's really rude. Uh, so he worked with this culty organization that was, like, trying to take over. Um, a lot of magic and nonsense. So they were pretty much, like, the, the initial, the initial Team Rocket, right? <laughs> like, they're the initial, like, bad guy group. Before the flame of the eternal, uh, uh, the eternal fire became the the true bad guy group, in a way. All right, let's go find out what's going on down here. Uh, but yeah, I got really crazy. I'm struggling to remember it now because it's been a few months since we played it. But we like wiped out the salamander in The Witcher One. Uh, they weren't even in The Witcher Two, so I'm just kind of surprised to find a salamander in there. Which all that means that some of the leftover ones are here. Um, because I, w wasn't it Vizima? Wasn't it Fizima that we were, um... Fizima's not even in this region. Right? Velen? Yeah, Royal pa So Fizima is where we were dealing with the Salamandra back in the day. Love the Team Rocket analogy. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty accurate. They, they seemed like pretty big dunces for sure. <laughs> Maybe thanks for the lore update? Yeah, no problem. Right, let's go find out what's going on over here. Jeez, look at all the dead people. Pull a file of the king of beggars, and you get no mercy no matter who you are. Um You Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. <laughs> you bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. That's funny. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no uh, one of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. Hmm. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One was so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. <laughs> Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. I'm honestly a little curious. <laughs> you search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call Sensible. a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, uh, yeah, tell me, what, what did you find in his pockets? Talk. What did you find on him? I, uh, I had you wish. Mm -hmm. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, mm -hmm. and a letter. Look, vellum. Quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner so it is new. That's human skin. Whoa. Priscilla. Next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Hit him? Uh, no, it's fine. 
Get out of my sight. We're not going to resort to violence. See, we we use our brains here. We use we, Detective Geralt uses his brain. We're not going to resort to violence is when you, like you, your brain stops working, or you know you've, you've lost every <laughs> everything else. Um. All right. Investigate the alley where Priscilla was attacked using our witch's senses. All right, we're gonna go find out what happened. Uh, although I kind of want to examine where the woodcarver was attacked first, honestly. Oh, perfect! This is literally around the corner. Nice. Uh, burn the best bits of the poor, uh, poor orange lady. Oh, that. Yeah. Okay. I understand. Oh, can we knock? Anyone home? Yeah. <laughs> Be gone, or I'll set me hands on you. Molly, Striga, come. Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's all to get it, different. Sit your stupid much lie down. Come on. Come on Slowly now, lest they bite you. So, now, okay. Now, seeing this dwarf in his short beard, now I'm just like... How do you... I, how do you tell the male and female dwarves apart in the Witcher series? Does anyone know? Does anyone know? Because the dwarf that we found on the on the autopsy table, or one of the autopsy tables, was apparently female, and, um... I don't know. Charming as beasts go. You daft! Even I'm scared of them! A better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I run to a mate who raises fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But I sleep sound at least. That's good. Uh, you pull a crocodile, Dundee? Alright, mate. <laughs> Maybe. Um, uh, I don't know. So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop go. together. Meyer and Meyer. Uh, it's nothing to do with short beards or nothing. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a bear for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. You need the stocks are huge. What's left of it? So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Um, but hitting that guy would have felt so good. You're sure no one would have minded? Oh, I'm sure no one would have minded. But the thing is, like, it's the principle of it. Alright, it's the principle of it. Know much about the murder? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered around the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Mm. Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleeding orphans in the street a wife birth so as not to stain their poor lanes. <laughs> what do they care about some dwarf? Mm. Brother have any enemies? Deaths? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one Lars. Oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Mm. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, tis all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City cemetery. She died a few days back, mm. quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Hmm. Alright. Oh, Your brother had any enemies. Wrong one. To select. <laughs> took to fall in. Skip all this. City set. And three, not two. Fine. We've Oopsies. talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Dogs are huge. Look at the size of this thing. 
Jesus, massive. Well, I thank you very much. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Hmm. So whoever this person is is against any kind of... Like, lechery, I guess? That's where Phoebe and Leah when they find him. Dust hide. A letter hanging out on the anvil? Okay. Murderer dragged something heavy. Dragged something across the floor. Statues. <laughs> dragged it from one wall to the other repeatedly. All right, Carol. <laughs> He's talking to himself twice, nice. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Appreciate it. Oh, it's nicely lit in here. <laughs> Still that glowing anvil in the background. Nice. Uh, oh my, okay. More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Mm. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Ah, that's what he kicked. That's what he kicked. Broke his toe. Hmm. Examine this. Eyes. Humanoid. Oh. Completely rotten. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh. You really shouldn't be in here. Gus, Gus, you might want to leave. <laughs> Don't want to. Oh, jeez, Gus. Uh, that's super smelly, so we'll follow that. But before we do, let's take a look at this. Concerned citizen, citizen sermon. <gasps> Here we go. This is going to be all the clues we need. Remember, good people, that fire can be both a blessing and a curse. Fire can warm with its flames. Fire can prepare our nourishment. Fire can drive off the horrors of the dark. Yet, fire can also scorch, burn, and incinerate. This, that is why we must live in harmony with eternal fire. And its commandments with the eternal fire? Isn't shouldn't there be a the? Nah, it's fire. Uh, whoever fails to heed its lessons, whoever lives in ignorance of it, whoever mocks it, the same shall lose his life in its flames. Take my counsel to heart, good people, or you will reap the consequences of your deeds. Yeah. That's what I thought. Some eternal fire person running around causing mischief. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Nothing here. Like mm. this broken rake out of your shop, though. Just uh, borrow this. Thanks. <laughs> i borrow these. Alright, I guess we're done here. Off to Priscilla's location, then. Off we go. Oh, it's literally just around the corner. It's not even that far. Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. What? Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You ought to come as soon as you can. That will do. Let me check this out first, though. Come on. Maybe a little more yeah. investigating here. Hey, handsome. It's Whistling Wendy! No way! It's Whistling Wendy from The Witcher 2! Can I talk to her? Grab him! <gasps> Whistling Wendy, why? Why would you do this, Whistling Wendy? Why would you do this? Oh, we're gonna have to have a stern talking to her. Uh, who did she work with? She worked with the, um, in The Witcher 2, when we were at the camp, um, the... No. When we were at the camp, she worked with the um, the underground people that were trying to rebel against uh, uh, Radovid? Was it Radovid? I think it was Radovid. No, it wasn't Radovid. It was... Um... God, who was the king? Was it Henselt? Yeah, King Henselt. Uh, they were the ones with the... Um... 
uh, the the square coins, the square coins. It was that square coin gang. We ended up uh, d didn't intend to, but we ended up murdering a lot of people of that uh, that gang, kind of shutting down that uh, that whole conspiracy. Um, oh my goodness, I knew that was gonna hurt a lot. Um, but Whistling Wendy was our, our point of entry into that. There, there you go. I, I really love how many connections there are. Oh, man, I'm looking at chat. Uh, I really love how many connections there are between... Oh, my goodness, I just jumped right into them. This is awkward. Uh, how many connections there are between The Witcher 1, 2, and 3. It's really good. Oh, don't get in the center. Geralt, get out. Geralt for... I tried to, I tried to sidestep, I should have rolled. <laughs> use sword? No, no, I, I don't, I, I tried to use one and it didn't let me draw it. It's fine, we'll beat him up. I just don't know where the last save was. I think it was when we were talking to the carpenter. Uh, hopefully it was after we found a formaldehyde. Uh, but hey, we've got a new emote for this, so uh, go ahead and spam that in chat if you want. <laughs> Killed all the monsters. Uh, get spanked by some hobos, yeah, pretty much. They were just townsfolk, too. They weren't even, like, um, they weren't even mercenaries or anyone else, yeah. And, uh, big rips. Big rips. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, uh, the rippy mode is, uh, for anyone who's followed to the channel can, can, ah, oh, perfect. Oi, Witcher! Back. Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You ought to come as soon as you can. Alright. Will do. Yeah, now, now you guys can spam rips in chat. Nice, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Whistling Wendy! It's Whistling Wendy. Hey, handsome. I cannot believe it. It's crazy. And I can't talk to her. Yeah, well, let me talk to her. Now that's what I can hard. I thought it was her. She walks away. Grab him! Sis. That him. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. Oh. We just. Oh, we learned a lot more information all of a sudden. Gotta get around him. We just suddenly learned a whole lot more information. So that means these guys are told to go and do. It wasn't just like uh, a one off thing. They were prepared. Oh no, we're just gonna knock him out. I'm gonna pay more attention to it this time. Don't, don't you worry. Oh my goodness, he spun around on me. I'm just gonna be more careful about where my dodges are. Oh, oh, good gracious, okay. Except the targeting is not the best. I really should be using Z targeting, but I don't want to. There we go. I'll just, uh, I just have to over exaggerate where I'm looking. That's fine, we got him. We got no chance. Sit down. Give him the knee. Give him the knee, Geralt. Give him the knee. Oh my goodness. Come on. Whoop. Uh, let's get to some place where I can actually see with the, where the camera's not in the way. Nope. Come on. One, two. Back up. Two. Back up. Oh, no, that's the wrong target. I wanted to go left again. One, two. Okay. And then one, two, and a knee. Give me the knee. Give me the... Okay, now just a big punch. Up your ass, deviant. Holes can fight back. Ugh. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. Whistling Wendy, I just want to talk. Here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome. For Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. Can we not bring up the fact that we know her? Oh, it's disappointing. Okay. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with a respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. 
I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Yeah, Priscilla wasn't the only one. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. I'd appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Mm. Oh, my head's ringing. <laughs> Watch it, Tram. No regrets, not your stomping ground. So? Oh, what perfect. Is it? So we can talk to her whenever we want. Perfect. Take care now. Alright, what do we find? I gotta look around some more. I appreciate it. Naturally. Yep, yep. Alright. She'll go and stand in her corner. A breeze here. This time of year. Hold it out for the burning. That's for sure. Human. Priscilla's. <gasps> it's her eye! They actually scooped out her eye. Oh my goodness. Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. What's this say? Uh, same as last time? Oh no, different! Remember, good people, the light cast by the fire dispels every darkness, reveals each lie, exposes every unworthy and debauched soul. Not even shape shifting Dopplers can hide from its light. Not even witches and sorceresses. So adopt, uh, adapt at fooling, uh, so adept at fooling the common folk. Not the loose women who walk the streets. The fog men's mind uh, and fog men's minds, with their charm, abandoned when the uh, treacherous and immoral magic arcane cover their bodies in modesty, provoke uh, no unclean thoughts, and the eternal fire will expose for you all monsters and sinners, or else burn you too in its flames. Mm. Nope. Oh, girl. Let me look at the thing. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Yeah, more of it. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. Hmm. Very strange. What? I don't see any claw prints or anything. It's not a werewolf. I know that smell. No, still can't interact with it. It's still just glowing red. All right, well, let's talk to Whistling Wendy. So, what is it? Think I know what happened here. Priscilla fought back. Her assailant retreated and knocked over the brazier. Someone must have heard it. Maybe saw something. Started hollering. Guard showed up. Murderer didn't finish the job, didn't cover his tracks. Just collected himself and leapt over the wall. Trail ends there. You divined all this from a pile of rubbish and a few prints in the mud? Yep. Do that practically every day in my profession. And practice makes perfect. True. True enough. Just like I can tell right off if a punt will pay or try to wriggle out of it. That particular skill I could use myself. <laughs> True. That'd be, that'd be quite useful. Take care now. And I got a murderer to catch. Alright. Take care, Wendy. Oh, it's just crazy that we ended up running into her here. Huh. Let me know. Right, let's go run over to the corner real quick. Uh, what's happened now? Watch it be an elf or a halfling. Um, this time. Look all pretty suspicious to me. I think it's going to be an elf or a halfling this time. What the? Oh, 
Hello? Remember, dear people, that the fire once lit cannot be stopped, and it consumes everything in its path, and only ceases to rage once all it's been turned to ash. Men cannot flee this element, and if they, blow bef if they bow before it, if they let it into their hearts, they too turn to ash. Search then your conscious, uh, consciousness and live in accordance with the church's, uh, uh, with the church's dictates. Before the time for penance has passed. What? How do we, we so we found this on our route. Hmm. Very suspicious. That's very suspicious. Finding that on the way back here. I like rain. Keeps the rogues indoors. Why do I get the feeling it might be the coroner? Welcome, Master Witcher. Why do I have the feeling it might be the coroner? That's a bad feeling. Alright, coroner. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. Mm. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Oh, I'm starting to take that back now because he, he just kind of like made a... He just made a comment against the faith, so maybe not. Okay, maybe I was jumping too fast there. By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242, the senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Mm. Joachim had been my favorite student, but alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. Hmm. Uh, look a little young? Yeah, look a little young. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Hmm... Oh, we can't, we can't keep pressing that? Are you serious? There's no way that him breathing embalming fluid is keeping him young. That's not how it works at all. What? <laughs> Maybe Shadow. Uh, just, like, running in front, just leaving little breadcrumbs. But I, there's something off about him, and I, I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, can you have, can you have half-elves? You can have half-elves in this game, right? And elves live longer than humans. You might be a half elf. Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Hmm. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Makes sense. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. That makes sense. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage, and... What's this? A parchment. 
made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you oh, know her? Oh, jeez. Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. Wait, who did we go to this estate with? What? Who do we go Until with? Next time, Master. Go, so it just clicked in Geralt's brain, but I'm trying to remember. We went to the Vagal but the state with who? Oh, it was the Nilfgaardian man. It was uh, was it the, it was like an emissary of Nilfgaard? Was that right? We knew the guy. We knew the guy. Okay. So, oh. I think we've already got this one. It's in gray. Remember the fire wants to can't stop. So he's just leaving papers everywhere. Hmm. Right. It might end. It could end up being that guy for all we know. So let's find out. All right. We gotta. We gotta run. Gotta hurry up and get outside so we can go and bandits. Oh my goodness, they're just gonna slow us down. Out of my way, bandits. Coming through. Have you dance. Let's hit this guy up for a minute while the other guy's busy. Alright, come back in. Down you go. Whoop. And bam. Oh, he blocked it. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't hit squat with that. <laughs> One, two. No legs for you. Three. Four. Off goes your head. Couldn't rhyme that one. Not fast enough. Oh, a ham sandwich. How kind. I could use that for the road. Right, off we go. Reset our water. Get this bridge. Right, Vagal Bud Estate. Like, we were literally just there to go get the, um... Ah, oh, what was that guy's name? Uh, Rutlets? Sam Sandwich Bandits! I know. Terrifying indeed. Ah, oh, Roach, you're so far behind. Come on, Roach. Come on, Roach. Are those drowners? Yeah, they're drowners. Bye, drowners. Bye, drowners. Busy. Busy, drowners. Busy. Gotta go. Yeah, they're gonna follow for a bit. It's okay, we can just uh, combat roll out, it's fine. Off we go. Here we go. <laughs> How do you know you're out of combat? You start jumping. <laughs> That's how you know. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Left hand Luke. Thank you so much for using your Twitch Prime here. Thanks for the resub. Wow, uh, uh, where's the time go? I know, right? Four months, That's crazy. Uh, left hand Luke, guess what? Guess what? They're new emotes. Have fun. Have fun, be careful. <laughs> I'll go cross country here with Roach. As long as you don't run into any fences, we should be fine. Or else we'll get caught up on them. Alright. To the Vagal Buds residence. This is gonna be weird. I feel like going to the Vagal Buds residence is since fact like a red herring. No? I, I feel like that might not be what's going to happen. No, I don't know. Yeah! We got tea. Alright, let's go. I'm away, guards. Guards? Talk to the guards? Get through. Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. I always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagel, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Oh, Geralt. What a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. 
She seems sad, true, but in perfect health. Um, uh, yeah, no, we'll explain. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards? He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Always am, ma'am. <laughs> it's all, always am. <laughs> <laughs> Geralt's face is like fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned the mother seemed sad. Do you remember? Yeah. In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith, a rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in Hierarch Square, uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Oh! Then she locked herself in her room. Yep. Need to hurry. Yep, that sounds like a victim to me. That sounds like a victim to me. She's burning holy texts. All right. Ow! Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems nope. to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine, but wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Go time. Go time. Go, go, go. Come on, girl. There he is. Excuse me, dog's coming through. Spread out! Murderer's still here! There he is. Oh my goodness, he just knocked that guy down. There he is! Get him! Wait, where? Where'd that guy just go? I lost him. Wait, I lost him. Nobody guards. I just lost him. Where'd he go? He must be a guard. I'm not fighting these guys. Man. She's. I don't. I lost him. I don't know where he went. I might have to reload the save here. He must have gone this way. There's only one. I, I can't imagine him going anywhere else. Imagine he went down here. Oh, guards? Why are we fighting these guys? Oh my goodness, don't don't paint me in the corner, please. Take up a guard seriously. Come on now. Am I I'm supposed to ignore the guards and, and find and follow the guy, right? Maybe the murder was inside all of us <laughs> inside us all along? Maybe. Uh, the arrow keeps, uh, looking at the map, it keeps bringing us back to the guards. If you look where the dots go, the dots keep taking us back to the guards, like... <laughs> Are we supposed to fight the guards? Oh, or is it this guy? Come on, you. Sit down now. Come on now. Ow. Alright. Nah, no, that's, that's not okay. Put, your, put that sword down. Put that sword down, sir. Damn it. Oh my goodness. Geralt, that's not how you cast a sign. Geralt, you don't cast a sign by standing there and getting slashed by three people at once. Okay. <laughs> Darn. How's it going for podcast? How are you doing today? I'm struggling. Uh, time for spoiler? Maybe. I don't know. We'll follow again. I think it's one of the guards, actually. I think that's one of them. Uh, hopefully everyone's doing great today. Yeah, hopefully everyone's doing well. And, uh, you know, not as well as I just did. <laughs> a bit of a rip there, but that's okay. Let's go. We'll try it again. We'll, fo we'll follow him. I'll keep a closer eye on this guy. Yeah, because he stands there. Shoes, green shirt. Spread out! Murder still here! Knocks guy down. Literally disappears. He disappears right here. Yeah, no, it has to be a guard. 
can't think of anyone else. Shut up. There he is. Get him. It's gotta be a guard. Wait, who's this? Oh, it's the guard that was knocked over. Well, he's definitely not the problem. I'll, you know, knock him down all the same. Ow. I can't, uh, can't do insta-kills on him. Ah, I got him. Halt! Or I'll put a bolt between your eyes! Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery! Taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. I don't think I could catch him. He just literally vanished. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother! Why did he do this to her? Why? He's definitely not the problem proceeds to smack him. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know what else to do. The only option I had was to defend myself, so I just started smacking him. Um, might have gotten bored? No, no, because she blasphemed, 100%. Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, only thing that ties her to the other victims. Yep. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. I'll do what I can. Oh, she's glowing. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Mm. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder. Not just the name, but the place too. He wants to be found. Don't get away this time. He wants to be found. his sermon. Remember, good people, that the fire devours everything in its path, sparing no one and stopping for nothing. The fire burns all sins alike, be they paupers or princes, men or non-humans, weak or powerful. Whoever breaks its commandments, whoever does not heed the church's counsel, whoever worships false gods, the same shall be turned to ash in its flame. Uh, live then in the truth of the eternal fire. Listen to its holy men, for they are their shepherd, or your shepherd, concerning citizen. Yeah, nothing else to talk to you about. All right. Sweet Nettie, Cripple Kate's. Uh, we know where that is. We've been there. Yeah, it probably shouldn't have burnt all the holy stuff out here. That's, yeah. Well, that didn't go well, but I think uh, I think it was scripted that way, as uh, the person literally disappeared, could not follow him, I had no idea where they went, um, and the, the quest made it where we kept going back to fight one of the guards, uh, the dots in the on the minimap kept bringing it back over there, so it was very clear that we weren't supposed to actually catch him. It was scripted? Okay, I, that was, that's what I learned during round two. Go to the higher square. It'll make it work. Uh, yeah, which was not New Vegas uh, on this department. True, <laughs> very true. All right. There we go. Just on the other side of this market here. Over the couple gates. I'm away, people, trying to save lives. Good old Sherlock Geralt is on the case. Oh, you know it. All right, we're here. It's upstairs, yeah? Yeah, okay. 
or in or inside. All right, sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs, but she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. Too late. Disturbing immediately. <laughs> We're gonna barge in. Hopefully we don't see anything that scars us, though, I'll be honest. Ups and daisies. Knock, knock. No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though, whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet oh, again, my goodness. Me, and I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Oh my goodness. Try it. First, I gotta know why. Yeah, I gotta know why. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways. Many traditional. Doesn't take killing them. Trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Yeah, this is... Senior victims, you never stop at that? Yeah, you never stop at that. What are you talking about? Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims. I know how they end. You don't stop. Not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <laughs> mm, bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Almost convinced me? So you left, um, so who left the letter, uh, yeah. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's, to sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know, but I see we must talk calmly. Hmm. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who, that, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner. Knew said it. Said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. At to warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. I can't let you do that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's easy. You'll untie her, drop your coin pouch on the table, then leave here and never come back. Yes, I will. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. You gonna untie her? Can we, can we really just... Alright, well, well... Uh, Sweet Nettie, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna rely on my Jedi mind trick. Uh, good, good luck. Good luck, sweet daddy. Good, good luck. Hopefully the Jedi Mind Trick lasts long enough, even though we're not nearby. I don't know how strong this hex really is. We did, like, max it out, so maybe... Ah, off we go. Uh, Walter, I'll have to come back and help you out later. I'm not currently on a big mission. Um... That's, that was anticlimactic. So I was right. Oh my goodness, I was right. I, he convinced me. During our conversation where he was just like, rah, 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 the, the eternal flame, whatever. I was like, oh, I guess maybe not then. I was convinced. I was still wary of him, but at least like... I wasn't, I wasn't certain. I was certain for a moment there. I was certain for a moment there. Oh! Oh! Run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Oh, I know already. Who, what are you? A vampire? Higher, of course. Yeah, do you even have a motive? Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. 
The symbolism is rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Yeah. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. What? So I decided to remind them in a manner they'd be certain to notice. What? Yeah, there, there are other ways, man. There are other ways. Could have set up a soapbox in Hierarch Square, preached from it. How funny. That's exactly what I did. But none listened. Instead, they laughed. Threw stones. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trebirates for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. Scaring people never works. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Made that way. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty good with a sword. Pretty good. Might not cut it. Oh, he's just a normal vampire. Alright, well, this'll be easy. Alright, you. Let's go get this thing sorted. Where are my vampire oils? <laughs> I've got my max vampire oil. Nice. Uh, and we've got our, our puffball moon dust. Alright, he's in trouble. He didn't realize uh, we are actually uh, vampire slayers. Yeah, no, nah, he's got no chance. He's permanently unable to, shape, uh, to shadow shift. Oh, that didn't catch. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> Get, uh, let me get my sign back up here real quick. Oh my goodness, he just gets me right before as I'm trying to cast the sign. There we go. Yeah, call on fire, percent damage, easy. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, that's right, he, he's higher than a vampire, yeah, yeah, yeah. It says vampire on his name, and um, he's not doing so hot. Oh, wait. <laughs> We're gonna kill him with the sword. We've weakened him with the fire. The holy fire. Our own fire. We'll take him out with the rest. A katakan. Hmm. Beastiary entry. Hmm. Bam! Yeah. Quickly put him six feet under. Sectoids, vampires, higher vampires. But he's a katakan. It's right here. We got moon dust, puffball, vampire oil, <laughs> igni. Yeah, we had everything covered. These are the two bombs that we have on our uh, on our hip. We went and just quickly put the vampire oil on, and we burned them. And if we get the uh, the moon dust on, we don't even need Yerdin. No chance. Didn't get a didn't get a trophy off him. A little sad. Oh well. Concerned citizen? Yeah, what's this? <laughs> what's this one? Uh remember dear people that a fire once lit cannot be stopped. Oh, I've already read that one. Anything else in here? It's a bunch of stuff to loot, but you think of like import or cool. Hey. What? Were you here the whole time? Pretty good, might not cut it. Whatever you say, not so super high vampire, right? <laughs> I'm an elder vampire, I'm stronger than most. It's like, yeah, I mean, 
You are until I can. I can literally cast fire three times and he dies. <laughs> like, I'm not worried. Let's see, make sure that if I'm gonna. I, I still want to kill him with a sword if I'm gonna help it. You know, get a little bit of honor in that, but you know. It's not like that much. Not that much work. Pick up what we can here. Oh, it's almost like. Oh! Nice. Some more lemon. Man, we have so much enough Guardian lemon, it's ridiculous. Uh, we need to go run by and see if we can pick up some. Uh, we need to pick up some cordial pretty badly. Get some more of our potions and oils and whatnot leveled up to max. We've got so much milk guardian lemon and we just like literally never need to get more. It's nuts. More lemon and more rye as well. Er, uh, redanian herbal. Excuse me. The rye isn't actually used for that. Alright. Done. Solved. Nope. That's not the door. Is that the door? Yeah. There we go. So I just have to proceed. Uh, we can Ooh. we can put that away. Sorry, guys. <laughs> don't, don't mind me. Come through. Coming through. What a smack. I'm in through. Bill, save me. I'm dying. You see hey, eternal fire. And imagine uh, what you would have done. Uh, imagine what would you do uh, when you unlock the DLC powers from both of mine. I don't even know what the powers are, so I I can't even imagine what we do, but. We will be very powerful. Oh. Um. That man, Walter, that was banging on the door, he died. We were gonna come back and help him later, so I came back. I found his key. <laughs> uh, clearly, he was killed by witch hunters. Clearly. Um. I picked up the key. Your every move will be counted and judged. I'm like half tempted to. Reload. <laughs> I'm like... Gosh darn it. Well. Careful, kids listen. Kid, kids are sharp. They're really careful. Oh man. Ooh. Oh, whoops. So we got the key, so I don't know what the key's gonna be useful for. Oh, we'll, we'll see, I guess. Alright, we'll go talk to Dandelion Priscilla. Uh, talk about what's going on. Uh, there's nothing we can really do, because uh, our Witcher potions, as we know, with. Uh, Lena. Yeah, they're a little too powerful for the average human. We can only hope that uh, she gets her voice back. Right, let's see. Uh, oh, no, this this good. Okay, so here's here's that. There's this guy in his cart like he's supposed to be, as opposed to dancing around like he was yesterday. Pretty nuts. Man, we have to run to the other side of the city for this. Jeez. Alright. Back we get. Should just be around the corner here. There it is. Oh, this is a hospital, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Alright, Dandelion. We got a long conversation. Oh, you? How's better? 
right? Y yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The witch's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. No need. Did my part? Yeah. Did, did my part. Look after her. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than a dryad to Brockalon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Hmm? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Yes, Gil. Can we talk a little bit more about this? Oh, actually, this thing, thing, thing pops up over here real quick. No? Yeah, cool. Found a murderer. Found and killed the murderer. It was Hubert. You were right not to trust him. He was a higher vampire. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Seems I was wrong. Deeply wrong. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. Or told me about your past? Yeah. Hubert told me about your past. Even more vivid than I'd assumed. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price. Even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. Hmm. Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. Hmm. You've not heard the story? No. The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, collected his diploma, and when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't raise a stink. Oh my gracious. <laughs> I've been at Vilmeria's hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept scalpel in hand than I ever was behind a lectern. So Radovid just wanted to be able to walk around saying, hey, I graduated from Oxenfurt? Really? Oh my goodness. She's, he is going crazy, isn't he? Now another surgeon from Oxenfurt Academy. Her name's Shani. Oh, yeah! Her red hair cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. Yep, that's her. Naturally, I know her. She was my assistant for a year. Any idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, patching up pikemen. Yeah. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission. You can't argue with them. Very true. Good gracious. We couldn't take her out of the plague-ridden city at all. She was like, this place is burning down. I'm going to stay. It's like, okay. Farewell. All right. Candle. That's some cow's milk. Sorry, Geralt. My throat's still quiet. Say no more. Get well soon. Geralt? 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 Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I see. All right. Well, that's that, I guess. Yeah. He beat his face to a pulp and threw him in a cell for three nights, all for a handful of ambulance. And how would you know? Hmm. Hmm. Let's jump in this tavern here. And go grab ourselves some alcohol so we can do some alchemy. Ma'am? You're an artist. Would swallow up? No, a witcher. Hmm, never heard of that. What? How? How? What? How have you not heard of a witcher before? What? Okay, I know we're going extinct, but like seriously. Hmm. I mean, that's okay, and all dandelion, but uh, Dr. Garrett found less than satisfying. 
the lack of coin in this conversation. Very true. What did the cook make today? Uh, perfect. The cherry. The mandrake. Excellent. And on top of that, grab a card. Give me that card. I'm in the mood for some diversion. The game of Gwent would be best. <laughs> Witchers are guys that play Gwent. Tis true, tis true. Alright, she's got a Nilf Guardian deck, I see. Alright. Oh, we got her Scorch. Clear day. We've got a Horn, Dandelion, two Dragon Hunters, a Dunbotter Medic, a Catapult, and Siri. Alright, go ahead and we'll drop this. We'll go ahead and we'll drop this. I got two dummies. Darn. Hopefully, she has at least one. Um... <laughs> Man, Dandelion's literally worthless here. I don't have anyone for the front line. Um... Guess we'll go. Uh, we'll go catapult. Hope for a scorch. Then go one, two, and then be done. Uh, hopefully, it's got a um, a spy. That's the word I was looking for. Because we can go and we can dummy the spy, pull the spy, and then try and burn the spy so he can't bring it back. Smart. Smart. Come on, lady, what you got? A second spy. All right. All right. Actually, a really good one for me to take, too. I'd like to play that one first, because then we can scorch out a seven power card. Oh, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> I dropped my clear day. It's back in the deck, though, so we might be able to pick it up. Oh, go ahead and play him. What do we get? Oh, oh, we got the dragon, and we got the catapult. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Go ahead and play the spy. What else we get? Priscilla and a, and a rainstorm. Ah, uh, the rainstorm kind of sucks. That's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. I don't have anything to destroy easily up front. However, I do have the dragon. We can burn that seven. And put us in a tie. Nilfgaard does like ties because they win ties by default. But what we can do is we can actually play Dandelion here. Powers up to a 14. We continue on with our day. Frost, seriously? Okay, I guess we're back in the lead still. I think we're still winning, right? Oh no, we're tied now. So it counts as two. Mm. This is a really awkward fight now. <laughs> I think we'll just go ahead and we'll play a. Uh, just put Philippa down. That should be fine. Put us squarely ahead and see what he does. Uh, if she plays a whole bunch of people in the center line, I'll be very happy. Because if she gets to ten or higher, we can go and delete the strongest one out of the bunch. I really don't want to run you because uh, the Dunbutter Medic can bring this one back to life. Uh, I think I'm just going to toss this away. We're just going to stall. We're just going to stall. Another, another center line. Just three, three or higher and we can go and burn a turn killing it. Uh, or we can just go kill it now. I don't want to hold on to the horn. Maybe we should just play Siri. Yeah, the rest are going to be a good build. This is going to have these two combo. These two are going to combo. This is good. Yeah, let's just play Siri. Hope for a center line card or a pass. Pass, perfect. That's what I'm looking for. Nice. All right, we'll pass and win. Good. All right. Pull our cards back. We get an extra card because we won. The Dunbunner Medic, two catapults, and whatnot. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> man, good works. Resurrect the dragon. We can resurrect the dragon, which is why that's going to be the last one we do, just in case it's being a really strong front line. We'll see what she plays. We'll see what she plays. All right. An emissary, a five power. If she plays the second one, then the dragon is very good. Okay, right, go ahead and we'll... Play this bad boy. There you go. Still one power off, uh, one level off of a uh, strength of us being able to go and bring that one in. Play you, which means I really can't play Scorch. Oh, that's unfortunate. I actually really needed that. <laughs> actually, 
actually really needed it. That's that's really unfortunate. Oh, that's okay. We can still play long. We can still horn and dunbutter medic for the back line to be way, way too strong. Okay, only one left. I cannot use this, so we'll go ahead and we'll just horn the back line. I, again, we wanna we wanna wait. We can currently burn this five power, but if the last card's a five power. Okay, we already won. Perfect. We can go ahead and we could uh dump our medic. Catapult. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> to 82 to 14. Yeah, we had that one in the bag. I just want to make sure there's no scorch or anything to really get in the way. What we get? We got our money and. Ah! We got a little one. They ain't good. Two power. Hmm. Marshalling ability. Makes them better than the ghoul. There's garbage ghouls. Oh, they actually have marshal and we have two of them. I guess technically that makes them better than this guy on his own. Since we need those two to actually have the card count. Weird. <laughs> we weird. Okay. I need a couple more monster cards. We'll be good. Yeah, we'll get some neck boys going soon. All right, on to the next thing. Uh, which contracts? High enough level for any? No, scavenger hunts. All right, let's go and track down this thing. We're gonna go do some scavenger hunting today. Hey, not like that. Off we go. Let's go back up to the temple and see if we can track down. <laughs> Where on earth we're supposed to be able to find this uh, the way inside the temple aisle? <laughs> I have no idea. It's been a real struggle. I've done a lot of fun exploring now, I will say. Right, let's go across the bridge here. Uh, by the way, there are ways to uh, respect your old, so don't worry about the build. Yes! Uh, I'm not entirely sure where you can constantly find the. Uh... Yes. What's the problem? My house. Something haunts it. It howls, rattles chains, shatters plates. I fear merely being there. Will you see what sort of phantom this is? I'll spare no amount of gold. Sounds like a white or a puffbow. Fine, I'll tell you it. <laughs> Look on her face. Thank you ever so much. Come with me. I will show you the way. Oh, I feel like we might get jumped. Uh, oh. oh! New quest, no grad, closed city. Uh, didn't quite get it fast enough. Um, but yeah, so we we missed uh we missed um Walter, William last time when someone shouted was shouting for help, so we'll Lucy will help her. Oh, I had a feeling. Yeah. You know what? The internal fire is is a knocking. It's a calling for your your immortal soul. And it just said, "Hey, your time's up. You gotta pay the bills." Don't enjoy being tricked. Tricked? I only said my house was haunted. I could not know it was hunters. Except the hunters knew exactly who they were waiting for. Reeks of a trap to me. Yep. Very well. Perhaps I've not been completely candid. Especially as I've no gold for the reward either. Jeez. Which does not mean you shall walk away empty handed. Mm. Here, a key to a treasure. There are three in all. Follow the hunters to find the other two. I must flee now. Alright, Lucy, good luck. <laughs> okay. Hey, a warrant. Oh! <gasps> Walter! Wanted. Three bandits in possession of magic, of magic contraband. Objects are dangerous, banned, and uh, to be destroyed immediately. Lucy, known as the Fox, hiding in Temple Island near the bridge. Founder. Fitz, hiding near the crooked house. Haven't found him. Walter, found his body. <laughs> Last scene in the Lacey's house uh, near the Peach Grove. Bandits are to be apprehended or if they resist, killed by the sand. So we have the key, so we have Walter's key. We have to find out where Fritz is. 
Where's Fritz? Hmm. 78 unread stuff doesn't bother you? Nope. Because <laughs> if we read it, I want to make sure I actually read it. Well, what do we got in here? How's it going, Warchief? How you doing today? Locked? Darn it. Here's darn it. Oh, yeah, right, right at the end of now. Nah, it's fine. It's just fine. Huh. Uh, we're gonna about face and go track down this guy. Let's go track down Fritz. Out of my way, priest. Gotta go, gotta go track down this Fritz boy. See what's going on with this man. See if he got himself into trouble. See if we can go and surround I don't know. We'll see. Hydrate, got it. Got it, player Neil. I'm gonna have to pour more tea in a moment here. Ooh, save, good call. Good call, good call. <laughs> when did you last save? <sighs> a while ago. Definitely, definitely a good long while ago. Ooh. That's a good call. Get a good save in here. All right, man, where are we going? It's gotta be on like the other side of town. Oh, nope, right here. This one. They built it straight, and two men moved in. Wanted to break into Vivaldi's bank. Schemed out this notion they did the tunnel from the cellar of the house straight to the vault. But they were silly miners. Didn't reinforce the tunnel. When that collapsed, the house went all crooked. Hmm. Go in. If they burn Ooh. the pies in winter, we might at least warm ourselves. They're no use to us now. Stairs. Oh, locked. Oh, baked potato. Hey, here we go. There's some stuff up here. At least that's useful. <laughs> some spirits and whatnot. Wild hunt. A bunch of ingredients I can't actually interact with. Go yell all the same. Ladder. What do we have here? Pants. Diamond dust. Hmm. All right. Lunch time. All right. What you got for lunch, Chris Engine? What's the uh, what's what's on the menu? True, yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. Alright. Oh! I found a note. More of his sermon. This one we haven't read, though. Um. What fire has turned to ash, no man can restore. Thus we too, having surrendered our souls to this church, to its church, can never abandon our holy faith. He who once knows the warmth of the holy flame, and then renounces it, commits a sin a thousand times worse than the ignorant man who spits on our faith without ever knowing it. Such an apostate will surely suffer a long and painful death, and then eternal torture in the afterlife. Hmm. Where is this person? Burger and fries? <gasps> Ooh, your natural food of choice? Oh, that's a pretty good food of choice. That's a good pick. I think they're downstairs. <laughs> I don't know where... I don't know where this guy is. Oop, that's not how we get downstairs. We'll go up here. And go down here. There's not a gate here. Okay. A changeling rescue for the witch's trial. Your performance was magnificent. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I thought it was quite poor, actually. Pauper with a library. Imagine that. Vile times when beggars were mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Adventure. Women. Passion. Where? Yes, Witcher? Where? 
It's gotta be underground. Chickens. Right? Maybe he's in this house. First man. You'll post a you'll post it in Discord if you check. Perfect. See in this one? Miserable. And hungry. Oh. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at this quest again. Oh, it's levels. <laughs> okay, it's at the high level. Um, wait, what? After tr after Geralt interest raided the outpost and killed Menge, the witch hunters decided to exact revenge on uh, mages and freaks of all kind. The city swarmed with armed units searching for anyone with slightly pointed ears. Wow. Hmm. So you went and bought a uh, bass fish. Ooh, to prepare for dinner. Be a treat. Oh, nice. Inventory back here. Where's that note? We got two of those warrants. Some sermon. Here's two of the keys. H key, different key. <laughs> Our script. Yeah, yeah. Letter of safe conduct. It's not definitely not it. Um. Don't know what the. Hmm. We have to find a way into the sewers, maybe. Oh. We're in the oh, circle. Most hallowed fire. Hmm. Well, I don't see a way down. Oh. Oh. We have to be here at night. Fire will cleanse the. Uh, no. Try this house real quick. Nope. <laughs> no, all these houses are, are closed. Oh. Oi there. Oh, I'm just just inspecting, sir. Just inspecting. Townsman. I'm just checking around here. Don't you mind me. Don't you mind me. Anything good? A baked potato. I'll take it. Uh, stomach, you picked up a, dice, a device to make fries. Uh, put a whole potato in it, pull the le lever, and it cuts it into fries. <gasps> oh my goodness, you just need to mount it? Oh my goodness, this is going to be great. Another baked potato. Wow, it's a lot of potatoes. Nice. Alright, I have no idea where this is. <laughs> I literally can't find it. I literally can't find it. Beg your pardon? Makes me feel like it's underground, but I don't know how to get there. Or what you're sensing like crazy. Other than that, this is, this is an openable door. Where's this go? Anything here? Fire will cleanse them all. Scrum before oh. I lose my patience. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I Guard you from somewhere. That's blasphemous, and kobolds. <laughs> Go for it, Chris Engine. What you got? All right, I guess we'll do something else in the meantime. <laughs> we'll sort this one out another time. All right, let's go back to scavenger hunting. At least we saved her, so she didn't die. So that's good. <laughs> Uh, we'll see if we hear someone shouting and screaming at some point, which will come back over here. Okay, well, not them, because they're they're shouting and screaming because of the these guys right here, yeah? Yeah, these guys right here. They're, they're always there waiting for an ambush. They're, they're fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Alright, off we go. Daisies. You are an offense to the majesty of the eternal mm. Start end. A door, slightly open door. Hmm. Maybe. I'll think on it. I'll think on that one, Chris Engine. It's not a bad idea. Uh, uh, <laughs> out of my way, peoples. Come through. Fresh fish. I'm warning you. Um, could be we have some sort of, uh, some sort of device to perform, uh, in a professional kitchen. Nice. 
Uh, you also have a device that cuts tomatoes into uh, neat slices. Ooh. Yeah, all these things that just saves you time. And, you know, it adds up. It really does add up over, like, over time. But pun not necessarily intended. Alright. We just need to go and find the armor for the cat. If we can find the cat armor, wherever it is, <laughs> we can then... We can then go and move on to the enhanced cat armor, which we found a couple of random parts and pieces for. But I do want to actually find the real one. Let's see if I can get inside this tower here. Might be at the base of this tower. Might be a way in. Okay, just just be super duper sure. We come over here, we check this side. I don't see the door here. We come over here to where it shows it is. And it's, uh, it's literally just falling. Nice. Okay. So, let's go take a look at this house. Let's start seeing if we can get into basements or something. Uh, no basements here. This one? Basements? Ma'am? Come through? Oh, here we go. Oh, butler. How was your health? Uh, better than yours. My health is significantly better than yours. Ah, locked. Dang. Grab what we could from here. Don't you fear the pyre, Fleet? Uh, don't you? Don't you, ma'am? Don't you? What's that boat we used earlier? We still can't go to that lighthouse through the high level. There's a, there's a platform down below. Ah, it seems weird if it was down there. The way of the cave is tricky. Hmm. We'll go climbing along the cliffs in a bit if we can't find it anywhere else. Oh, why, Carol? No, <laughs> Carol, don't climb in the fire. What are you doing? Uh, do you want me to guide you? Now we're gonna we're gonna look around these houses here real quick. But if we can't, we'll try and run around the um the outside of this side of the island. We've done the other side already. Can't actually get those individual ones out. We're both locked. Do anything in here? We make a living with no monsters. What? There are a lot of monsters, ma'am. You're very hot. Oh, we're close then. Okay. Better. Hmm. What have I told you about uh, cliffs and being next to them? Uh, we're not on roach. It will be fine. Before I lose my patience. I mean, how on earth would we climb, even climb down there? It's too steep to actually have any walking. Oh wait, hold on a second. This is a this is a jumping yeah. It's a jumping ledge. We can abs we're absolutely we can absolutely come down here. Oh, hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. Oh, this doesn't seem to go anywhere. Oh, I immediately take that back. <laughs> There's a cave down here. Now in his eye, ought to use it. Oh, it's hidden behind an illusion. Nice. Uh, you're a classically trained chef, but you purchased uh, some items to use at your own home. You're like to cook uh, for friends, and family. I absolutely understand that. Um, save. Good idea. Save. Good ideas are good. Can I... No? Okay. <laughs> can't, can't use it twice. Post my Discord? Excellent. Oh. Oh, it's a, um... What are these called again? They're not elementals. What are you? Golems. Of course. Yeah, fire doesn't really do much for golems, huh? Well, it's a good thing we came here at level 19. This thing's level 19. You'll beat it up. We should... Are we... Do we have to return this, or can I just sell the blunt sword? I don't know. Um... Let's see. So this one uses relic oil. Alright, going up. Okay. Let's get in there. Oh, jeez, okay. 
dodge? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> it's the AoE slam, all right. Big hit in. We do not stun at all. Oh, don't get caught by that. That's always bad. Oh, actually, it doesn't hit that hard. Actually, it doesn't hurt that much. In fact, now the AOE is hard. That does hit. That it does hit pretty hard. Okay. But otherwise, we can just kind of have at it. All right. Good luck. It's already down to half. Oh man, not being able to use the Igni makes life real hard. Oh, well, honestly, it's these earth elementals and gargoyles and whatnot that are the the non non fleshy creatures that are the hardest for us to sort out. Really need to go and invest in some uh, red talents. Definitely have to invest in some red talents going forward. Almost. <laughs> Keep the cleanse up. There we go. Golems. Annihilated. Sort of way. Golem heart. I don't think we need the golem heart for any of our magical things at the moment. Scratch them real hard? Yeah. <laughs> Scratch them with the sword. Yeah, if it works, it works, right? Right? Where's this go? Where does this take me? Let's do the depths to be lifted up. Hmm. Let's see. Someone is listening to dubstep to never gonna give you up. Someone's listening to a dubstep rickroll currently in the break room. Oh my goodness, this engine amazing. Research nets. As per the instructions of our superior. Uh, we have conducted a series of studies on the genotype of the creatures commonly known as drowners. Sadly, administering a, po uh, a poison made a uh, fugu fish induced a coma in all the specimens in the study. After 24 hours, the vital functions of all above mentioned specimens ceased, prohibiting us from continuing the study. Let me see, Geralt. Nothing, you're just gonna kinda keep it to yourself? Okay. <laughs> I guess we have to pull the levers in the right order? There's a wraith over there. Huh. A mysterious recipe. Alright. Dear Pacel and Timo. Timo. Um. I've got a bit of time before these treatments I have to administer to these uh, stinking drowners. So as promised. I'll rent you the recipe for my famous spiced chicken and pumpkin stew. Hey, here we go. Here we go. Pumpkin, chicken thighs, or alternatively chicken breasts. A uh, mix of exotic spices. Won't tell you what. Have to buy it from them. Um, milk of the Coco's Nicophera? Hard to get. But there's a ship from... Oh my goodness, how do you pronounce this even? Um... Opai Kenberg, Op Opa Kenberg and Sons uh, import company that arrives in Novigrad Port first Wednesday of every month. And those guys sell everything. Uh, striped horses included. Oh, they've got the zebras. Nice. Uh, remi <laughs> Remainder of this list is legible. Aww. We didn't get to learn it. I'm sure you'll figure out the process on your own. Good luck. MT. P.S. You owe me now. What? You didn't even give me anything useful to use. What are you talking about? Posture check and stretch? I mean, sure. I can do that. Yeah, make stretches. And hydrate? Oh my god, actually, I need to get more tea. Hold on. Keep Everyone keep an eye on that uh, wraith for me here while I pour some tea. Shout in chat if it's coming Show after me. me. What you got. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I didn't even get a chance. I didn't even get a chance. I was like literally just starting to go grab the tea. It immediately teleports here. Holy moly. I'm 
I'm like, chat, it's, it's up to you. I'm waiting. You'll take care of it, right? No. No tea allowed? Oh, apparently. I'll have to hydrate in a moment. Alright. All we have to do, literally all we have to do for this wraith is stand right here. Oh, stand right here. Dust it. And then we... Uh, it can no longer go incorporeal. Oh my goodness, it's teleporting. And then we just have to slash it forever because it stun locks it. What? Yeah, it stun locks it. We just forever swing as it as it becomes stun locked. Oh, some piece dust, nice. Hard mode equals Dark Souls, kind of, kind of. I mean, oh my goodness! Uh, if you were here yesterday, I'm gonna grab the tea. If you were here yesterday when we were fighting a, uh, <laughs> if we were fighting an Earth Elemental, and oh my goodness, yikes! Truly Dark Souls mode for sure. Still have not played the Dark Souls games though, so I'm still on the docket. We still need to get that done. Still got to play it. Uh, but Kayo, how are you doing? Good to see you, <laughs> Carcinogen. <laughs> Looking a little flat over there, huh? Oh my goodness, they all have to face in, don't they? Or don't. No. You should just have to face in, naturally. Let me guess, it moves the other one too? No, it doesn't, okay. This is, this is an easy puzzle, they all just have to look inwards. Hey, that's a good one. I like that one, Concision. That's good. <laughs> Got some cool galaxy braining over there, yeah. I like it. Come on now. Use the thing. One more time. Alright. Sort of way. I think it's just you now. I'll slide into position. One. And two. Done? No, no. Right, this one. Three times, I guess. One. Two. <laughs> you can barely tell that it's flipped. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Three. Open it up. Is it water? Ah, drowners. Literally struggling to see him in there. <laughs> struggling to see him in there. Alright, we'll come back to this one. Let's go the other route real quick. Go the other route real quick, because this is clearly the way up. Let's go find the way that isn't clearly the way up. Let's see what's over there. There's, there's, two, there's two other directions for us to go check out. some loot if there isn't a, an actual direction to go. Ah, that's the way back out. Okay, okay. Alright. What down here? What a difficult puzzle. I know, right? Only Sherlock Holmes could solve it. It truly, truly pushed our, uh, our skills to the limit, that's for sure. Right, what we got down here? Pool of water. Right, we're, drink we're drinking a cat eye potion. I'm struggling to see. <laughs> I'm starting to struggle to see down here. Uh, where's my cat potion? There we go. Man, even with that, it's still tough to see in here. Okay. Nice. Definitely, I'll take that. Oh, that's a really good one, Chris Engine. Thinking about T, or is T thinking about you? <gasps> the world may never know. What we got down here? Aha! That's yeah, some silver. Invoice for a gold. Hold on. <laughs> Issu issued by Jehuda Lo. Purchaser. Uh, Arenas uh, Var Stengard. Goods purchased. Guardian Golem. Clay. Porcelain. Warranty. 
In the event of damage to the porcelain, please report immediately to the nearest branch of uh, Jehudilo and Apprentices. The golem can only be serviced by, quali by qualified company personnel. Okay. It's kind of funny. I like that. It's like a car. Uh, hello? Ah, it's just a wraith. Hello, wraith. Slice it down the old fashioned way here. Uh, not an axiom. You're in. You're in. There we go. There we go. Back in the Yurden, please. Thank you. Three and four, and you're dead. And sort of way. Nice. More, we, definitely, we definitely need more Spectre Dust. For sure. Definitely need more Spectre Dust. Off we go. All right, time to head back. All right, see you tomorrow, Chris and Jen. Have fun with the rest of your shift. Uh, Macy said that CD Projekt Red made both this game and Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, I well, you know, it's it all comes like the hardest part is the moment developers are rushed. Like they delayed the game. Smart move. Glad they did. It was, it was good that they did, but they didn't delay the game enough. And unfortunately, the marketing campaign and the marketing team doesn't really care about where the developers are because they've already made the decision on when all the marketing stuff's coming out. Um, or whatever the situation may be in its entirety. But, um, yeah, it's unfortunate. So hopefully, no self, uh, no self golem repairs. Yeah, no self golem repairs. It's against warranty. I know. Uh, but it, it, there have been some really big patches I've heard uh, for Cyberpunk 2077. So when we eventually get around to it, Hopefully it's running like an oiled machine and has all the things they've always wanted. Plus, some free free extra additional content. I'm down with that. The thing is that delays are not the answer for a good product. True. Uh, one of the biggest issues with delays is oftentimes it, um, it promotes um, feature creep. Let's get in here. Um, oftentimes it promotes feature creep, and that's a real problem. Now I can actually start shooting these things. Oh. Big whiffs. Should be fine. Come on, drowners. I couldn't I couldn't properly shoot them from above, so we'll just have to. There we go. One. Two. Three. Oof. Sort of. Uh, let's go get some breath before we go back in. Um, you need to push your designers to keep up uh, with creative solutions. True, uh, but yeah, like it, there's you know a lot of things that could have been improved on and like in, in their process, and hopefully it's a good old learning experience. But um, oh, laboratory key. Oh, I think this is what lets us out. Okay. Also, what is this? Is this like a just a blocked up room? Okay. Special. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully they learned. Uh, and they're they're working to make it better, which is great. Some kind of bolt resistant drowners, I know, right? Jeez. Come on, Geralt. Up to daisies. Get Geralt, no up. Thank you. He <laughs> kept going back down. I'm like, oh, that's not good. How's it going to your Witcher? Oh, indeed. How's it going, Falcon? How are you doing today? Good to see you. All right, so now we have this key. We can now go ahead and open up that big door. Why does this look so suspicious over here? What's oh, wrong sign? Okay. Yes, nothing. Nothing suspicious over here. Okay. Tempted to crack out the old guitar and play it. Hey, now we're talking. Oh, what kind of guitar? Open this thing up. Unlocked. There's a... The person in here. Uh, we're gonna save. <laughs> we're gonna... 
Well, this isn't ominous. You don't remember? It's been ages since you last touched it. Mad Kian? No good, no evil, only pain. Who are you? It's using Witcher style. Oh, oh, I put myself in a corner. Oh, is is a Witcher, hundred percent. Just use, just arted. Ow. Well, that's not my instant heal potion on hand. Why do they have bubble quens and I, I don't have bubble quens? Oh, is that the active quen? Must be. Seems you are bleeding. Seems you are burning. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. The quen, it removes the burn. Are you flourishing at me, sir? That's why you burned a little. How's about you burn a little? How's about you, uh... Oh, jeez, okay. I mean, just standing there. That was awkward. No good, no evil, only pain. Okay, burn up. Yeah, it keeps using Quentin! Oh my goodness! Uh... Let's make sure we actually have the right potion attached here. <laughs> I really gotta en enhance this thing. Alright, we're gonna go full thunderbolt on him. Oh, I can't. My poison is too high. I'm overly poisoned. Oh no, I can thunderbolt. We can full poison, uh, full, full potion absorption and go full thunderbolt on this man. Come on, you. Whoa, it's not good. I can't, I can't drink potions. My poison is, uh, my toxicity is way too high. We'll just have to burn him. Hope for the best here. Uh, burn him and try and get inside again. There we go. There we go. Get back in there. Is this the dragon's place in the hobbit? Kind of feels like it. <gasps> oh my goodness, that was close. <laughs> Thought he was gonna get me. Moonblade. Library notes. Trousers, gauntlets, pants. Are perfect! Got everything. Laboratory notes. Day one. Luckily, the teleport dis uh, deposited us directly in my laboratory. It's good to be home. I had grown sick of the gills of the uh, leaky tub. At that leaky tub. Okay. Uh, I hope that storm I summoned... <gasps> I hope that storm I summoned smashed it into the craggy rocks off the grassy knoll shore. It's the same, it's it's the same wizard um, as the, uh, yes, so this is the same wizard. Yeah, 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 because it's the same quest line, that makes sense. Uh, so this is the same wizard uh, as crashed that boat on the western, on the southwestern side of the, ter um, of Velen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that. The experiments which my students conducted on drowners, okay, in my absence, have not yet yielded the ex um, expected results. As usual, I must do everything myself. I'll administer a brew of medicinal opium to the subject. This milk of the poppy, which keep the witcher in a st oh, which keep the witcher in a state of half consciousness, and thus incapable of any resistance. Uh, commencing studies. Note. I must hold off on my planned ex um, experiments once I clean up. Uh, once I clear up the demolished portion of my laboratory, I've set the bones in the forearms of one of my assistants. I'll now administer a quadruple dose. Oh my good great quadruple dose of opium to the Witcher. Day four. Subject shows incredible resistance to physical torture. Only broke after the second day of intense labor. Uh, moderately satisfactory results from the interrogation. Garnered information about witcher training and cat school of witchers in general. As I suspected, the cat school witchers are for the most part of elven stock. 
Uh, this school must have some tie to the elder races. Addendum. Perhaps its founder was a member of the Anshe. Could be. Uh, subject unfit for further study. I must discontinue his dose of poppy. Okay. Day four. Administered extract of cowbane and hemlock. In typical uh, representatives of the human and Anshe species, such a mixture provokes paralysis of the uh, uh, paraphernal right? uh, nervous system. I feel like I'm pronouncing this wrong. Peripheral? Peripheral. There we go. Nailed it. I'm like, that's not right. Peripheral nervous system. And eventually, of the nerve endings as well. This results in muscular, skeletal, um, preliminary, uh, pulmonary, and uh, cardiac paralysis, and ultimately death through suffocation. The Witcher is not, however, a typical uh, representative of any species, though the poison did not co uh, seem to cause any to cause some mild irritation, sick, in his uh, nervous system, his mutated body quickly uh, managed to neutralize the harmful alkaloids. In a matter of hours, all symptoms of the poison I administered had vanished. Stinging him with a sea, uh, with a sea wasp, what? Toxin. A sea wasp sounds terrifying. <laughs> with sea wasp toxin did not provoke the uh, expected results in order to strengthen the toxin's effect, I had poured ethyl alcohol into his wound. Uh, the His nervous system seems to be immune. Day 26. The subject has been tortured, poisoned, uh, burnt, frozen, starved, and dehydrated. And despite all uh, it all, his body continues to function. He eats and drinks by himself, moves about his cell on his own, and is able to articulate simple words. Please drink, don't hurt, stop. Conclusion. As I suspected, the Witcher is a superb um, anagerum. What? Injigum. Injigum. I don't know. Uh, a demon trapped in such an ex uh, excellently prepared body will become death incarnate. Oh my goodness, what? Vengeful wrath made flesh. Um and placed at my command. No one has succeeded in creating a being of such power since the times of Malaspin and uh, Alzer. Oh my goodness, this is a great day for science. So this is the guy's... So it's a demon in this guy's body. Oh. <laughs> no wonder we had problems. Okay, I see. Oh my goodness, this person, like... This lady's got a, um, yeah, finish the quest. This lady's got a, what, a panther? Yeah, it looks like a panther and a, and a hurdy-gurdy, what? The instrument she's playing? Interesting. I wonder what that's all about. Well, let's loot what we got here. <laughs> no one else is coming to these rooms for a long time, yeah? What's that? Something shiny? Oh, it's just a hole in the floor. You know, as you do. As you do. Everyone needs a hole in the floor somewhere. Right. Blood moss. Water. Stout. Kidney sign. Good. We'll use that to <laughs> double, double no much prankings. Okay. Uh, we'll use the um, runes to bolster the strength of our other runes. Cause it's like five runes make one rune. One makes super rune make the super runes. Alright, I think that's that down here. Nice! We did the thing. We found the stuff. Ah, it took a long time. Good gracious, gotta say. But I'm glad we found it. So this means we can finally go and grab the enhanced cat equipment. And then we don't have to worry about that anymore. We're actually perfectly good to go. And we can actually build it up. Because that was one of the biggest issues. So we couldn't build it before. Because we didn't have the basic stuff. So you have to build them from... They, they upgrade from each other. Uh, say, you got it. You got it. Uh, do you have the strength to handle the, uh, extension of the stream? Yeah, I can do that. I can do it. Might have to go and jump out and get some more water, though. We'll see. 
busted through quite a bit. Hello. <laughs> Let it rain? Good. Because it's going to rain whether you want it to or not. You want it to or not. Then here we go, boys. Alright, the streams have been extended. There we go. Gonna be a longer stream. Uh, so we can go and do plot points, or we can go and try and track down the partner. I think we'll come back to this another time. Let's go talk to Dijkstra. Dijkstra wants to go and murder uh, Radovid. Radovid is going crazy. Yes. But... I don't know. Wait, is it the Passive Flora? The Passive Flora is a brothel, right? Didn't we have to talk to the madam of the brothel for about something? Or am I wrong about that? My neighbor wench sold amulets to ward off the room. I thought we thought, hmm. Not sure. Uh. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Alright. What we got? Oh, it's still a big. That's a longer rung than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I forgot it was way over here. Out of the way, courtesans. Let me talk to the madam. You got an itch need You'll not find much to do in Novigrad. What's the hurry, my prince? Uh, I've got I've got a date with the with the madam. I think, right? Yeah. There she is. Geralt, greetings. Come now, darling. Don't be shy. Yeah, sorry, but I'm here to speak softly. I know very well why you're here. Oh. They await. This way, please. Okay. This way. Whoa, wait, what, wait, what? Okay. Alright. I did not see that coming. Bandit. Which your Geralt. Up you go. Boss has been waiting. How big is this inner area? Dijkstra, what? Geralt, you're here. Good. Might have chosen a more secluded spot to plot an assassination. It's on everyone's mind. Many would like to do it so there's nothing to fear. Besides, this venue's got a tradition in this domain. Mm. Might even consider it fabled. Volker planned her revolt here. By extension, King Vrydank's murder too. Comparing yourself to Falka? For as I can recall, no one in Redania's annals has a bloodier reputation. Hmm. Her rebellion changed the course of history. That's what we have in common. In terms of blood, we aim only to shed Radovids. I'm we'll pleased you're willing to play a part. Must admit, I wasn't certain you'd show. Well, it was a quest for my quest marker, so... Uh, right if it's got to die for Triss and Yen's good? I mean... It does mean that then Triss can kind of go run around and do what she needs to. Down to business. Don't know if I'll help you. Yeah. Thought about what you said. That Triss and Yen would never be safe as long as Radovid was alive. You better believe it. Well, I'm pleased we've arrived at an understanding. To the matter at hand. I believe you know my associate. Who? Roach. Roach! Retired intelligence operatives. We have a club. <laughs> Defended a king once. Ready to assassinate another now? Not proud of it, yet. I considered all the options and found none better. Mm. Radovid's proven many times he only ever forwards his own interests. When Kedwin asked for help, he invaded. True. When I begged him to support Vizima's defense, he showed me the door. Mm. The war nears its end. We've come to a decisive phase. We must act quickly. I've no illusions. Only a dead Radovid means a free Temeria. Mm. Yeah, what specifically what do you mean? How's that work? Seems to me Radovid is Temeria's ally. Well, kind of. Only as long as my guerrillas do what pleases him. Support his troops. Once he wins the war, he won't acknowledge the previous borders. Nor wish to restore them. True. He dreams of a northern empire. As long as he lives, Temeria will never be free. But we didn't bring you here to bore you with politics. Radovid's a threat to Triss and Yennefer. Remember that. That ought to interest you most. True. I will be honest, though. 
If I was in Radovid's shoes, I probably wouldn't let Tamaria go free. I'd probably annex it. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I mean, I think about it all the times we're playing Crusader Kings. It's all, it's all about making the your name on the map as big as you possibly can. That's all. That's all it is, right? All right. What do you want from me? One of our co-conspirators ventured out to meet an informer. He's not returned, yet the plan's success hinges on what he's learned. Mm. We've got to find him. And you're the best tracker around. Tracker, huh? Really? Anything else you can tell me? Where this associate was last seen, for instance? He's traveling as a journeyman. Itinerant cobbler, that's his cover. He was first to venture across the Pontar. Most probably did so via the Redanian checkpoint. We've a man there who should know more. Calls himself Gregor. Oh my goodness, Provox, thank you so much for the bits. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I uh, have a copy? Alright, will do. Something creamy? You gotta get going? Uh, oh, something came up. I see what you mean. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> All right, take care. Thanks again. I really do. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. We'll see you around. My uh, my font on map is bigger than your font. How how dare you, Shadow? How dare you? This means war. It's the only way. It's the only way to resolve this. My country's name is supposed to be bigger on the map. That's how it works. They say you assert dominance. Let a Redanian soldier in on your plan to murder Redania's king? Yeah. Uh, you see, there are even some Redanians who cannot abide Radovid's policies. Mm. And when simple soldiers notice something's not quite right, well, then it's time to act. Mm. <sighs> All right, we'll, we'll go track it down. We'll track it Fine. down. I'll talk to Gregor. Thank you. And try not to draw too much attention. If you can, <laughs> remember, the future hinges on the success of this mission. We'll do our best. The future of Tamaria. The future of the North. I know. I'll try not to fuck it up. See ya. We're counting on you, Geralt. Uh, Geralt is not subtle. See you come in. No one apart from Madame Serenity and your lackey. Off the street, I mean. No one. Nerves getting the better of you. I'm not nervous. Just cautious. A trait you ought to nurture as well. I know, and I am. What about the streets for a time to lose any tales? I've worked in intelligence as long as you have. I need no lessons in spycraft. We got up here. Hmm? That's a nice little spot you got here, Deister. So this must be like, this is the penthouse suite. It could very well be time for a change of scene. Must you wait? Oh my goodness, this is literally the penthouse. Deekster's got himself the penthouse? That's found behind a secret door. Oh my goodness. Jeez. It's found behind a secret door? Deekstra. Fancy man. What was that? That was... Didn't know if it was blood, just double checking. Just making sure Deekster's not doing anything crazy up here. Apparently smoking, having so much food, it's literally all gonna go to waste before he even gets around to it. Come on, Geekstra. Think, think of everyone else outside. Honestly, I'm not in. We're a lot of dumplings. We're finding a lot of dumplings right now. We're on a bread, no potatoes. Bread, apples. I mean, the food's literally weightless. We might as well pick it up. Broken weight rakes into life. We're gonna need to go run by a merchant and sell some of this garbage. Also, probably should do the same thing for books. Don't mind me. I'm just. Oh, some perfume. Don't mind me, Dijkstra. Just um. <laughs> just uh. Trying to try and get behind you here, buddy. Right. Curious. Is there any additional dialogue? Thank you for agreeing to do this, Geralt. The sooner you finish, the better. Nice to chat and all, Geralt, but don't you have a job to do? Ah, they do not want to talk. Okay, well. What? Huh. Some stair water. Interesting. <laughs> I guess if you need some water before you get downstairs. Hmm. Anything 
up here. Yeah. Some bread. Some water. Some more stair water, but this time wow. stair bread. What about the trade we do with the Empire? You're um. In the maritime company. Uh. Yes, definitely. Of course. Yeah, I'm, we're definitely looking outside the world right now. We're we're definitely seeing skybox at the bottom. <laughs> Um, no one noticed the thing. Portison. Oh, Wolfie. Hey, oh. I'll need you to pay up front. Rude. All right. Uh, madam. Could it be that all roads lead to the passive flora? Welcome back. Hmm. When I look at you, why? I almost regret I'm no longer an active duty. Oh. Uh, well, I'd like to buy something. Actually, I'd just like to buy something. Do you have... No, you don't. Okay. Oh, she's got a lot of everything. Jeez. Very well stocked. Some vinegar. Some exquisite honey. <gasps> oh, my. Take care now. Oh, my. That famous bar. Really? Must you really repeat this nonsense? Be gone with you. Okay. <laughs> We're up and out. Out of the way, everyone. Coming through. <laughs> Detective Geralt is on the case. <laughs> He's got his nose on the trail. What's he doing here? As I just said, I'm on the case. Out of the way, everyone. Just knock over guards and civilians alike. And if anyone looks at him sideways, Geralt looks at them sideways, and they immediately back up. <laughs> like, oh yeah, sure, fine, whatever you say, sir. Alright, talk to the Redeeming Liaison. Can do. Right, where's this guy? Demon? Where? Oh, it's, it's, it's just the same, the same, uh, same hooligans, the same goons. I mean, so we have to go 700, 700 steps away? This is outside of Novigrad, then. There's no way this is still in Novigrad. Right? Otherwise, it's like on the far side of the docks. It might actually just be on the far side of the docks, look at that. Nah, nah, it's outside for sure. This way, still this way. Okay. Maybe just at this gate instead. As soon as we get outside again, we'll we'll jump on a horse. Trouble? The pumps. Oh no, it's um uh, here again. We still need to get further outside of the city. The far corners doesn't quite get as far enough away to where Roach can go faster than us running. So I see no point in us stopping to go pick up Roach. So we're able to more or less keep running at the same speed uh, without slowing down. Slow down for like a tiniest of seconds. All right. I think now we're out of town. Come on, Roach. Let's ride. Let's go for a gallop. There we go. Perfect. Now we can get there even faster. Through all this orchard. Is this this orchard that. Oh, yeah, we killed a noon wraith here. Yeah, we took care of Remunerate over there. <laughs> and that circle of bodies. Yep. Yep. Alright. Is this guy like hiding in a hut or like in a in a dirt dirt hole? Ah, okay. He's over here. Alright, Gregor. Looking for Gregor. You found him. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Deekstra sent me. His hat's gone. Expecting someone. Let's take a walk. He, he just lost his hat. He still nice has time. job decorating your guard post. By orders of our gracious and merciful ruler, the good king. What was their crime? One on the right to Pella from a village nearby. Gave some bloke the wrong advice. Bloke's mates informed on him. Neighbor held a grudge against the one on the left. Accused him of witchcraft. Wow. Just humans at each other's throats. That's not Radovid's fault. 
Hmm. Who do you think set down the laws that mean folk hung for such offences? Seem to have lost all respect for the king. Why serve him? What am I to do? I was born a Redanian. I won't desert. Besides, I enlisted when Vizimir was still on the throne. Now that was a good king. Wise and just. Radovid's something else. He's got war on the brain. And I don't want Redania to look anything like that. Brains. Alright, down to business. Let's talk. Must know why I'm here. Take it, it's about our cobbler friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he came through here on his way out. Didn't come back, though. Patrol went out yesterday. Reported an abandoned cart a ways off the road. Mm -hmm. Aimed to go out there, see if it's his. Couldn't get away. Thanks. Good enough to start with. Farewell. Hold on. You got a pass? Won't get back through without one. Yeah, I got one. All right. Good luck. Thanks. See ya. Cool. So I guess if you did this, you would then suddenly he'd probably give you a pass. Long live. Well, that's quite convenient. So if you like swam your hello, don't mind me. Uh, so if you <laughs> if you swam your way in. I guess uh, this ensures that you have a, a pass afterwards. It's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, why does Kirk? Ah, Kirk. Where'd you come from? Oh, you know what? It's this cart right here. Yeah, it's these carts up here that were on the way. Aha. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. So it's going to be this one right here. That one right there. Yeah. Or oh, actually, you know, past it? Oh. oh, this one. Here we go. Hmm. Cart doesn't look damaged. Strange. Need to look around. Might find something. I really need to sell this junk. Don't I? What's our inventory weighed at? Ah, we still have time. Luckily, it doesn't weigh too much. Oh, it works. Well, that's awkward. Oh, there's dogs. Hello. Right. My sword out. Only got one. Ow. Wolves are honestly the worst. Fighting the wolves and wargs are honestly the worst. It's because of the pack. Uh, that pack style of hunt. Good. Definitely makes them really good. Oh, no dying, Geralt. No dying. Geralt. Got it. Wolf. Wolf. Or dog, I guess. And dog. Okay, perfect. Where was that trail? Signs of a scuffle. Somebody got knocked out. Dragged off. Mm. Inspect these? A shoe. Something tells me I'm on the right trail. Wonder where its wearer is. A shoe. Something tells me I'm on the right trail. Hmm. So I guess from there on, it's only one shoe. Just seeing those footprints here, so I guess we can just follow this little path. Yeah. What's this? Wonder where its wearer is. The other shoe. <gasps> is that a troll? Yes, I need more troll liver. What's he doing here? Oh, wait, is this the same troll? He's collecting shoes. Greetings. Amazing. I love these trolls. Away go with you go. You did pick me. I can see that. Just wondering how those shoes is wound up here. Here, you did grow like the mushroom. Ah, uh, uh, what? Shoes don't sprout from the ground. You see who left them behind here? Mm. Mm. Speak no log. Oh, I'm gonna get Ogden Pog. Ogden Pog, those your friends? Fingering of great Ogpog. Human 
grinder on big suited cart. Suited big like so. Hmm. <sighs> what did they do to this human? Oh, Pogman's cover to take. They're over. Do you eat him? Nah, no. Body man's, stringy man's, blah. Oh, man, suited make. Fog, pog, and rog, suited make. <laughs> I love these trolls so much. They're so funny. They're great. They're just, they're all such great characters. They all have, like, a good personality to them, right? They, they all feel different, which is really cool. And then I also just, I'm just also imagining the voice actor. It's really good. So these uh, rock trolls have to be the best monsters in the game. They really feel like it. If treated right, uh, they would be the best bodyguards ever. Absolutely. Are you kidding? They'd be amazing bodyguards. You even need shoes? Shoot it on whom and did it? Shoot it once on Pog and Rob. Big Lord Trollers be. Like whom and did <laughs> Yeah, so he wants, he wants to have shoes so he can be a big, uh, you know, a big lordy man, right? So long. Troll cave must be nearby. So we've been here before. So we need to find, uh, what is it, Pog and... Are you go find Sir Pog? Must be the same cave, because we've cleared this out already. Wrong, wrong spot. Ooh, come on, girl. I cleared this one out already. Oh, I guess this is a troll cave. It, no, this was a hundred percent a necker cave at one point. This was this was not a troll cave. Giving lessons. All right, let's uh, move to some exercises. Repeat after me. You was fucked on. Now, I'm going to be loud. Take turns. Hot. Patience. Alright, that's our cue. Oh, so they they captured they captured the cobbler to make them shoes so they can be noble noble uh, trolls. This is so good. Oh, the story is amazing. This is so funny. I love this. All right. Taller. It's taller. Should have known. Who better to teach trolls how to cuss? Ah, oh, taller. Oh my goodness, we've been wondering where he is. In bloody years. I'm like two. Oh. Relax, Og. This bugger's an old friend of mine. Bugger friend, I'll go. A whiz in soup throw. That'd make for an awfully veiny morsel. Right, true that. Just look at the plowed bastard. Naught but skin and bones. Well, General Trolls, I time I traveled on. You, uh, practice what I taught you. Give you a fucking exam next time I come through. Tell a no go. Tell a shit. Sit us down. Tell a suck 
cock chooses me. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! This, this is so funny. I love it. Uh, so Taylor, uh, Taller, yeah, Taller, uh, was a was the guy in The Witcher One that we had a lot of interaction with, and moderate interaction in The Witcher Two. I think it was like Act Three, maybe. I don't know. He was. I think he was in The Witcher Two for a smidgen, but really, really big. Uh, main, like one of the main uh, NPCs in The Witcher One. Alright, so Mike, what you got? <laughs> so, so, parent. Where are the kids? Are they are they safe? Other oh, parent. No worries, the trolls the troll is with them. <laughs> the scene outside. The alley is littered with dead bodies and bandits. Um and the two kids are just playing with the troll. Yeah, right. <laughs> the two kids are playing like hopscotch with a troll. <laughs> and like all the buildings are shaking and falling apart in the meantime. I wonder if this behind us. What is that? What we? What is that? Oh, it's a deer! <laughs> My good gracious! I'm like, <gasps> what are you? I'm like, look away from chat, look back at the screen. I'm like, hello. I can see you've made friends, but Taller needs to come with me. Blood know where Taller go. Taller chooses mix. But I need him. Talos here stay. You chooses dot. Og chooses dot not. Rug got not. Pug got not. Talos chooses make. Talos go. Gotta make shoes first, man. Uh, time's short. Let me go, okay? Uh, uh, need a minute. No more. He'll be back? Yeah, he'll be back. Dear police down. Let's all stay calm. Taller will be back. He just. Needs to come with me. We'll uh, get some leather for your shoes. Uh -uh. Listen to Geralt. He's telling the plowing truth. <laughs> Look at your feet. They're fucking mammoth. Need a damn bale of leather to make shoes for them. Understand? Me and Geralt will get some cocksucking leather. And I'll come back and make your blasted shoes for you. Shoes is punk for? And rug for? Two pairs for each of you now pricks. Hmm. Tyler go. What back come must. Knew you buggers were good mates. Sit tight. Be back in a bit. Got to admit, you have a way with troll. And the thought of having children. No. Children aren't trolls, and vice versa. Besides, witches are sterile. Ah, you've not changed a bit. Still tart as rotting rhubarb. Just <laughs> happened to be passing through, or did someone send you to find me? Roach and Dijkstra. Ah, mean they've not forgotten me. That's nice. Though I am grateful you came to get me, Geralt. Must have a lot on your mind. All those monsters to kill. Heard you three are planning to do some killing of your own. Huh? I tell you, clowns. Kinda. Didn't offer any details, though. Maybe you'd be willing. Gesture of gratitude? Sorry, mate. If they were mum, I've got to be mum. Hmm. Be that way. How'd you even wind up out here? Nilfgaard occupied land now. You saying the black ones have no use for cobblers? Probably brought their own. Mm -hmm. Brought fuck all as I see it. Amateurs in uniform. And you'll not find a better cobbler than Tala anywhere in the north. Yeah, right. You doubt me? You're a spy, and you're working with Roach and Dijkstra now. Doubt you went out there to fix Nilfgaardian boots. Ah, I see you've thought about this. I admit it. Cobbler acts my cover. Who takes an interest in cobblers? No one. You sit there, doing your work, hammering on that soul, and blokes beside you talk. Bollocks, mm. mostly. But sometimes, they say something interesting. Like? Mm. That's all I'm willing to say. Oh, good old Taller. Exactly. Exactly what he said before. Um, so I guess just the... No? Thanks again, Joe. Okay. I'll take it from here. 
And I'll be sure to tell Roach and Dijkstra how you buggered Og and his mates sideways. As I see it, they'll be so impressed they'll shit themselves. <laughs> okay. Um, to call the thing. How, yeah, how'd you come about this? Tell me, you were a fence in Vizima. Yeah. How'd you become a cobbler? Pick the least suspicious profession. The fence thing, shite cover. Pissed True. too many folk off. I didn't need the attention. It's all about being an innkeep. You meet a lot of folk, you know, tossers mostly, but willing to talk about all sorts of things. Problem is, you're tied down like a mutt on a chain. One and the same yard all the time. Mm. Whereas a cobbler travels everywhere. Better believe it. <laughs> Even cobbled together this fancy rolling store. Nice. Lovely. Bloody bullseye. I've made a small fortune out of it since the war started. Those huh. pricks in uniform are always marching. Know what happens when their cocksucking boots disintegrate? Their feet bleed, blister up. Not a soldier out there wouldn't sell his mother for a comfy pair of combat boots. Wait. So you're telling me you can actually you're actually a cobbler, you can actually cobble shoes? Alright. Color me impressed. So what'll you do now? What do you mean? Head back to Novigrad. Dijkstra Roach and I have got a master plan to set in motion. I'll ask again. Details. He won't give it. Me, mate, I'm plowing corn. See, were it just up to me, I'd spill it loud and proud. You're trustworthy like no one else I know. But I'm not on my own, so blooming unilateral decisions are out of the question. Trap stays shut, I'm afraid. Right, gotcha. All right, well, so long. So long, Taller, and good luck. Oh, I can bloody use it. Radovich won crafty all with a clap. But we'll figure a way around that twat. Soon the old bloody North will be blathering about how he got fucked. Careful it's not also blathering about three assassins, drawn and quartered. <laughs> Fear not, Geralt. We know what we're doing. Farewell. Yeah, I believe it. I talked about anything else? Nice, we can talk about other things. Anything else? We got 20 experience and... Nothing else. There we go. What a solid spy? Yeah, he's, he's a pretty good spy. He really is. Um, wouldn't be good as a cover job if he couldn't actually perform the job. I mean, that that's a that's a really valid point, yeah. But all the same, like, I thought he would just be, like, a third-rate cobbler, but apparently he's really good. Life treating you all right? Eh, uh, bit like a potato beetle. Ooh. I keep quiet, stay out of trouble, and live on fucking potatoes. <laughs> been a while since, yeah, it's been a long time since we saw each other in Vizima. It's been a while. Fill me in. Nilfgaard fucking dismantled the Termarian Secret Service in one night. I barely escaped with me life. Proceeded to drown my sorrows till my liver screamed bloody murder. What do you do now? Grassroots work. I hang about the area, watching, listening, asking questions, and recruiting new agents. Hmm. It's a tough job. Did I hear right? Where it is you like to play cards. I like to play, period. Dice, cards, chess. Dice. I'm wine playing games. You asking because you got fuck all to talk about? Or are you in the mood for a round? Oh, we're going to play a round, but we made so much money off of Taller playing dice back in The Witcher 1. And then he made a lot of money off of us playing dice in The Witcher 1. Oh, man. We were like. All right. Let's play. Ugh. Just remember. Only interested in good cards. Don't want any trash. We, we are absolutely crushing him. We were earning so many orns. Oh yeah, it was orns back then. And then, um, yeah, I think he was hustling us. Because then I just couldn't win again. <laughs> we just lost a lot of money. Alright, so I think we're just going to go ahead and we'll continue playing Northern. I think we're really close to playing others. He's playing Squirtle. Really? That's the case, I don't need the rain. The decoy. Useful for the medic, so that's good. We'll keep the decoy. Drop the fog. Can I get a stripes? Nah, I got a horn, that's fine. We have one of our spies. I 
Really? You're gonna put him in midline when we can go and kill him? It would be funny to play, um... Uh, would be funny to play Taylor against Taylor? I would be. <laughs> You'd be too... Absolutely too much power. Oh my... Good gracious. Nice. We got a catapult, and we also got, um... What's his name? All right, perfect. So if we could, yeah, oh, we don't have the dragons, right? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that stinks. Um, power fourteen and five, nineteen. Honestly, I think we're just gonna go Siri. I think we're gonna win the first round for sure. Go ahead and we'll play Siri to start with. Depending on what you play, we'll just burn. We'll strength combat the second line. Well, that's fine. We'll still wait a smidge and see if she plays anything else first. run line. That's going to be the last one. We're going to keep John for later. Mid. Nice. Can clear that one out. Not yet, though. Not yet. Let's, let's, let's just keep waiting. Put you in here. Got pulled up. Oh, pass. I see. Ooh, six cards remaining. Uh, we can either, we can play, no, yeah, we can play Blue Stripes, and that'll give us enough to win. I think I want to save this just in case. I don't know if he's going to have other mid lines, um, mid range troopers. That's, that's actually really good. Um, should actually probably use this on that, honestly. I'll start with Vesemir, though. Just in case there's a Scorch in this deck. But I think we just won it. Yep, there we go. There's a 10. So we can remove her immediately with our ability. But we'll, we'll let him go ahead and stack people in there. So if there's a second 10, we'll kill them both. It's a 6. No, don't play that one. Play this one next. Slow and steady. Nice and careful here. Oh, Frost. That's brutal. Luckily, it's our only frontliner, so it works out well. You lose five points, but it's not enough to take us down. Resurrect someone. Oh, 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 oh. You fool. I'll take that back. You thought you were being clever, didn't you? Well, I'll have you know I have a decoy for just this occasion. And a Scorch. Nice. Very nice. Oh my goodness, let's just demolish. A Scorch. Bam. I'll go ahead and we can use this to remove these two sixes. What, Geralt? Oh, jeez, he got me. That's scary. <laughs> that's a lot of power. Uh, that's okay, because we can... Remove. Blam. Putting us back in the lead. You only have one card left. Your card is a nothing good at all. Excellent. So even with the rain, how high can we get up here? Decently high, I think. Technically, I should have put that there. Could have gotten higher. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's fine. We still won all the same. All right, tell her, what'd you, what'd you get me? A little less roaring cut. How long it took me to assemble that plowing deck? Nope. Hey, know any other players who are good? And what's more, have good cards? Been hearing a lot of late about some prick named Lambert. Supposed to have an evil fucking deck. You might know him, actually. He's a witcher. Oh, we know him. All right, Taylor. All right, Tyler. What you gave me? What is this super rare special card? Oh, <gasps> it's us. He was holding us. We got us. Oh, my goodness. We have the Geralt card. We got the Geralt card. We did it. We did it. Oh, my goodness. Between Geralt and Siri. 
literally stands zero chance against this. It's nuts. It's absolutely mental. Yeah, I'll drop the siege tower. Oh my goodness. The Geralt in here. Do have a six power mid? What's our mid playing? Sixes and ones already. Okay. Press to drop these. Yeah. Don't really need more mid front. Yeah, I definitely need more front. Um, pick any five. So, Ms. Olsen, we'll come back. Okay. Oh no, that's too many, actually. I take that back. Sorry, Zolson. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I don't need 22 cards. Alright, get uh, Geralt in here. Uh, melee, we're gonna drop the two ghouls and we'll grab the little guy. There we go. <laughs> Took a minute to get him in there. Uh, because he's plus one power of the ghoul. It's only one card, but because. Okay, oh, we need that. Um. Geralt in. Okay, nothing else. But, bring Geralt in means we need to drop something. Five, sixes, five. Dandelion's ability is pretty gosh, darn, pretty gosh darn good, so I don't really want to drop a dandelion. I got three healers, fine. He's the only one. Hmm. Alright. Um, shouldn't be one of these versatile ones. Oh, they're gone. Clean that out. All right, we've got our Geralt of Rivia card in every deck now. Feels pretty good. All right, so you go and report back. Is that right? Or is it just not even a quest? Well, so let's get this on the map. We need to go for these because we could go and uh, try and track these down. It's an option. Way over here. Yeah, we saw it, but we didn't go in. And we can go grab this question mark at the same time. All right, let's go and teleport over to Tadaris. Go Tadaris. Right north. So make, make sure I'm going the right way. Don't get turned around. All right. Oh my god, everything looks like it's just falling over. Nothing here. All right, perfect. So we need. Because there's. Okay, that's right. That's what I thought. Because there's also one up here. Okay. Yeah, so let's just continue to the post then. Where's the post entrance here, by the way? It's south? Yeah, it's over here. It's south. Alright. Oh, uh, just you, you oh, this guy sitting over in the corner. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, can we actually talk to. What was it, Gregor? Can we find him again? In a hurry. Nope. Nope. I don't think we can. Alright. Fast travel. All the way down here. Go and prep our weapons and armor. Um, perfect. We need two vials of drought of uh, devour blood. Come here. Ow! 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 We burned them real quick. Wait, and there's an algul here too. What's going on in this town? Sad. Real whiff right there. Okay, come on. Almost. Almost. And prepare to burn. Now, nah, we got the devourers. Darn it. If we can get the alcohol to jump on like, in the area of a devourer when it explodes. Oh, jeez. I completely whiffed it. 
I shot, I shot the one that was already dying. Longer. Oh. Ow. Ow. Okay, perfect. They're in the same spot now. So when this devourer explodes, should do damage to the ghoul, uh, Al Ghul as well. Yes. Using one enemy to annihilate another. Perfect. I right. like that silver. Alright, Devourer, what you gonna do? It's just one all on its own. Oh, no, don't attack it! Oh. I forgot. I can't just... That's on me. That's on me. I forgot I can't just wail on it forever. I, I forgot that it's... Because uh, in The Witcher 2, we don't find enough Devourers for me to remember. In The Witcher 2... They start to explode once they hit zero health. In The Witcher 3, they start exploding when they hit, like, one-third health? I think it is? Yep, yep, nope, it rips. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, well, there it goes. Great. We, we tried. Well, that's okay. We can start right back here. Alright, Devourers. Come here. Jesus, a lot of them. Let's see if we can get them all together here. Make this easy on us. Try and burn, burn and eat them all. Yeah, I got two. Got two this time. Yep, yep. Some big, some big old rips. It's okay. We'll do all right this time. Oh, another order exploding. Get out. Oh wow. That... Nearly a flawless victory. That was really good. That was really good. Just, uh, burn. Watch. An eye out on it. Oh, that's right. If it burns to death, it won't explode until it gets to zero health. We just don't fight these guys often at all. Ow, oh, one set of devourer blood. Perfect. I just need what one more. Oh, hello. One more set of blood, please. So once it gets to half, instead of firing again, we can just swing at it, like twice. What? One, two, and then, yeah, two swings. Clean. I like it. Gives a little more control over when it's going to explode. Perfect. That's the two things of our blood we needed. Maybe some extras just in case. You, know, you never know. Sad Al Ghul. Alright. Go ahead and set those. Are we going south? East. This way. Off we go. Slide on through these kilns here. Alright, so, uh, we just need to go and... I guess we have to go back into this cave. So, I think we stuck our head in this cave, like, super duper briefly. Back when we were running around this area. And then we're like, nope. Uh, either that or we've already cleared it. Oh, no, no, this is the... Oh, this is where that wyvern body was. What on earth was that all about? They're like, oh, water fountains, huh. This is where that wyvern body was. Or the, the the bodies that were attacked by the wyvern. Oh, stay on top of this ramp, please. There we go. Good. Up to the So I'm assuming. <gasps> My goodness! Almost fell down that hole again. <laughs> I forgot. Luckily, that hole's actually really shallow. But um, yeah, I forgot about it. <laughs> Getting real dangerous. Alright, so this is going to get us to the very, very tippy-tippy top of the, uh, of the hill here. We might have missed where we were supposed to go. Back to the tippy-top here. Let's see. Yeah, nothing around here. Hydrate, you got it. How's it going, Bree? How are you doing today? What are we drinking today? We are drinking some oolong tea today. We're drinking a little bit of oolong tea today. Where did I miss this? 
No, it's it's truly in the cave. Hmm. Hmm. How's your playthrough of The Witcher 3 been going so far? Ours have been doing pretty good. Not too bad. And you can see all the towers from here. It's been cool, actually. It's all those towers sticking up out of the forest. Let's go all the way down. So it's in this lower cave, but I must have gone right past where we were supposed to look. It's a really big cave system, so it shouldn't be too hard to accidentally do. <laughs> There's that water. Oh, it's because it's dripping from above. So it must be that other path I missed. That is just mushrooms. This is just another way out. Bunch more mushrooms. Okay, so it's gonna be in, and then instead of all the way up, I think there is that side section we could go to. Oh, girl, please. <laughs> Grab it before we fall, please. Safety first. Nice. Uh, you're doing good? Good. It's good to hear. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, I was just like reading chat when I was supposed to be reading chat. Oh man, I'm gonna get myself hurt at some point doing it this way. <laughs> you actually ended up stopping the playthrough? You lost interest? Maybe we'll try again in a few months? I understand that. Oh, where'd you get to? Okay, I think I've just gone right up and past it. This oh, hello. Oh, that's mushrooms. More mushrooms. More mushrooms. Can't go up here. This brings us outside on that cliff, though. Hmm. I don't know if we get up here or not. No, we can't. It's a dead end. Darn. Okay. Uh, back we go. I'm trying to think, of, think about how we're going to get up there, though. Uh, you didn't get to Skellige, uh, yet? Just some side quest missions in Novigrad? Yeah, I've only been doing, been doing exclusively Velen and Novigrad so far. Uh, and White Orchard, of course, because, you know, it's a starting zone. Um, yeah, we have, we've not even gotten to, we haven't gone to Skellige yet, and I'm currently, what, like 93 hours in this game? This is not here. Where is it? I've got to be going right past it. Gotta be going right past it. This is like right at the entrance. Is where it's saying, "Look, maybe." Oh, you know what? Maybe I need to be trying to find the um, the engraving of the cat on a wall out here. Maybe it's one level up. Let's try up above here. If it gives us a down arrow, it does does give us down there on the mini map. So we absolutely need to be around this height. <laughs> so that's that's not how physics works. Gracious. I don't see it. It's supposed to be like right here. <laughs> is is am I am I blind? Is there a bug? I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm I am unaware. As to is that sit or not? Unless that's oh, just a rock. Hmm. Hmm. So if we quest mark of the boots, it says I'm at the right level. I think there'd have to be a box here if that was the case. Oh man, don't tell me the box doesn't exist, because that'd be really bad. <laughs> so we'd never be able to use, um, uh, what, the boots for the feline gear. Granted, it's not like a lead loss, since we're predominantly going Riffin. It'd be nice to actually pick it up. Maybe it's on top. No, we already checked on top. Definitely isn't. So we get a down arrow. Is there like a dungeon above the cave? Flowers. 
I don't understand. I'm quite confused. This doesn't even make any sense. Hmm. On the boot diagram using the Witcher senses, yeah. Witcher sense activated. Big scary monster over there. You need to go out and do some cockatrice hunting for sure though. Lots of need for those potions. Uh yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not finding anywhere to go look for it. Oh, what, what is this? Is it a bear? Where are you? It's a bear. Damn, you're ugly. We can let the bear be. We've burned enough bears. <laughs> we can see. We'll, le we'll learn. Right. Off we go. Um, it's not too far away. But we are tracking the wrong one. How far is this? All the way over. Jeez. Oh, okay. Uh, in which case, let's go to the island. The island. Off we go. Hello, dear. We got a little bit of adrenaline on Geralt to just fire off that shot real quick. Get some deer meats. Okay. Where are. So. We'll probably have to swim there, yeah? New map marker grotto. I thought there was a cave in here. Hmm. So is it right there? Is it left that landmass? Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Sailing for new horizons. You never know what would be in store. So off we go. Takes care of a little bit to paddle on over. 200 feet away. 200 strides. Come on, girl. Go, girl, go. It's almost within landing distance. Yeah, perfect. No one, just us. We don't have any drowners trying to pull us into the drink. Just us. Hidden treasure. Perfect. Alright. Hidden treasure, we've got some fog here. Some sort of monster, probably. There's a lot of fog. Does fog persist just, just persist everywhere? It does look like it. Hmm. Alright, here, hold on a second, I'll be right back. Let me grab some water. I'll be right back. All right, back we are. Back into the mist, or I guess first time into the mist. It's gonna be some foglets, right? 
imagine it's gonna be Foglitz. Or Hag? What are you? So <laughs> that was a rock. <laughs> yeah, it's Foglitz, okay. Alright, that makes sense. This fog is crazy. Layered. Um, where's the actual treasure here? Where are the foglets? Oh! What? Tracks! Where'd they come from? Ah, down here. Broken ore? Fishing pole? Fishing, or fishing rod, fishing rod, fishing rod, ladder? Hmm. Friendly reminder, save. Ooh, save call. Call. This <laughs> is another word over here. Call. Can we inspect any of this? Oh. Alright, let's go this way. I'll follow this one first. Big, big chunk of tracks over here. Foglets in the area. Whoa, look, bones. Scratched key. Glad we came this way first. Oh my goodness, hello. Oh, don't, don't slash the tree. Come on now. Alright, Foglet. Sam. Ow. Good burns. I think I got them both. Oh, that's not all of them. Oh my goodness, that was not all of them. Okay. That was really close. Oh, nice. I sort of set them on fire. No one died. Hopefully it's just one now. Nope, it's just two left. Two left. Where are you? There you are. This one. Okay. Got him and his, uh, his invisible friend. One, two, and... Oh, three, and four. Okay. Is that all of it? Were there only two? It felt like three. Nicely done. Okay, what we got over here? So we picked up his keys. Is there anything else in the vicinity for us to go and loot? Hmm. Alright, you gotta get some sleep. Alright, take care, Snowmack. Good luck on the hunting monsters. I oh, will do the best we can. Since the worst ones are humans, true. And that's always the hardest ones to get sorted out. Very true. I want to backtrack the. Ah. Like that. So I want to backtrack those tracks. There we are. Okay. Back to here, and then we have individuals going this way. But yeah. Have Have a good one, Snowmac. We'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out. Essence? Okay, so he buried something here. He's buried something here. This just brings us to him. Oh, or is it just not buried? Is it this thing? Looks like it should be a chest, but it's in a chest. No, it's just rocks. No, that's definitely a chest. It looks like a chest. It's just a teeny tiny chest. Can I just not open it? Maybe it's a lunchbox. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Oh, we're sliding into those rocks indefinitely. Oh, that's awkward. Oh my goodness, the visibility here is just abysmal. <laughs> Alright, it looks like we picked up whatever it was. <laughs> oh my goodness, with the sun coming out, it's even worse. Jeez. Alright, but that's done now. Perfect. Okay, so we have gotten the hidden treasure. Valuable goods. Uh, I think we've gotten everything now. We just need to get ourselves back over here to the grotto. See if we can figure out where in the grotto this thing is. Because I just don't know. We're blanking. Truly blanking. And it's for the silver sword. We, we need this thing. We need this thing. Is this the right way? Uh, no. <laughs> Let the call out a hard no. 
hike up this hill. Man, the hill's nuts. It's a small mountain. Alright. Go over this small mountain. Um, and with daytime, we might have better luck with uh, visibility here. What about this pole in the ground? What is this? I don't know, it's just a just the top of a tree. Alright, what we got over here? So I'm hoping. So we know where the cave entrance is. I'm just hoping we have better eyes this time. It's hard because the Witcher Sense should have given us should have let us know all the orange things, all the interactable objects. Which I'm pretty sure I did. Alright. Here we are. Back again. The way this water lands is just very suspicious. It's very, very suspicious. Um just no other way around here for anything. It's a ridiculous amount of mushrooms, which is good. There's nothing new and useful in here. Um, let's go ahead and get a cat potion on us. Just make sure we're not missing anything. It helps a bit, but not, like, stellar. So if we go ahead and we set this one again. Boots. Boots are where... Oh. I thought that was a cliff. It's uh, it's just really bright outside. All right, so the cliff is down here. So is there anything on top of the cliff? No. Top of the cliff is empty. It's not here. And the indicator says it's below us. So we come down to about here, which is ground level. It says it's right here. No? <laughs> it's just, um, hmm. Or we, might, I'm, we might have to look that up. <laughs> I know what's wrong with that. Alright. Well, in which case, we'll go after the sword then. I guess we can survive without the shoes, after all. Uh, the swords are probably the most important items that we could have for building. Jesus, right? Um... Just have y'all do a, a quick, quick one-hour meditation. What? Can't do that now. Dangerous? Oh, it's a bear. Yeah, it's a val valid, valid argument. Yeah, man, that makes sense. Come on, bear. Can we actually knock this thing over? <laughs> Is it stuck in the trees? Can we knock bears over? I think we just stun them. I think they're too big for, uh, to tip them over. Try and one-shot them. It's okay. We know how to sort out, uh, really anything at this point. It's just, uh, the old double egg knee. There we go, now I can see. Oh, it's a black bear. This thing's huge. Only you can prevent me becoming a forest fire. Perfect. Off we go. Um, so this one's 2,000 away. Jeez, I can get Roach out here. That's way too far. <laughs> We're not going to run that one foot. 2,000? Crazy? Come on, Roach. Come on. Let's see what we can do. Hmm. I wonder if that had anything at it. Should have stopped and taken a look. There's a big river here. Okay, we can just go left. <laughs> girl, what are you doing? Are you talking to Roach? What's going on over here, girl? What are you doing? Silly man. Alright. So, uh, we'll go jump across the river here using this bridge, which I think is free of bandits now, right? Look at that. No forgot who's taking it. Stop! 
He said stop? Is that for me? Oh, nope, it's for the wolves. Roach, Roach. <laughs> Roach, stop. Don't just stand there. Come on now. These guys got it covered. Don't worry about them. We can, we can focus on our journey. Let them deal with the task at hand. Let's right, right up through. Getting there. This is on the north side of the city, so it is quite far. Hmm. I'm trying to think, is there anything else we wanted to do while we were running around out here? I don't think we have any other side quests in the like in this area. I think we're pretty much caught up on the side quests. Actually, I think we might have a tele teleportation host uh, post over here. Let's go. So probably should just use it since we've already cleared this entire area for once before, at least. <laughs> the fall, yeah. Horse is never happy. Yeah, here goes that post. Might be, is there a merchant in here? Just a general. Oh, hello. Not another step, or there'll be one corpse more. Mm hmm. Oh, we've already left this area. Okay. Listen, I. Behind you. If you think I'm gonna fall for. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> arms to arms. Monsters are coming. Your oh my goodness, there's a lot of them. They're all algals, too. Are you serious? Oh my good gracious. We're gonna have to art these things down. Get these things, uh, get these guys a chance to fight. Oh my goodness. Burn them. Oh my goodness, it literally is a one shot to kill these, uh, to kill the guards. But luckily, I got them all, uh, nice and packed together here. Nice. <laughs> if not for you, that would have been the end of us. Sure as spring. You're welcome. They they just shook us off last time. My goodness, this Al Ghul. So we lost one guy. And it's, you know, all, in the end it's acceptable. It's an acceptable amount of loss. These are all peasants. So they're just wearing combat armor that they've been finding. Mm. Already looted things here, but I guess not. Um, Geralt automatically pulls out the right sword, and then you, yeah, then you switch to the wrong sword anyway. Yeah, nah, yeah, <laughs> yep, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, I, I do that a lot. Um, like a lot, a lot. Hey, enhanced feeling uh, gauntlets. Excellent. So we were going to be here anyway. I keep finding a lot of the feline stuff by accident. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. By the time we need to go do the feline gauntlets, I think we're actually done, right? How close are we on this? Yeah, there's the gauntlets. There's the steel sword. Don't tell me. Okay, it's not over here, but it's right there. Oh, for goodness sakes. Alright, let's go grab that one. We'll go grab that one. That should be easy. Should be easy. How's it going, SimCity? How are you doing today? If you clear monsters, uh, then does the monster center respawn, uh, spawn there? It depends on where. Uh, some areas, yes. Other areas, no. <laughs> sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um... This one here, for example, uh, they just keep spawning back. Which is fine. It's a decent place to farm crafting gear if needed. For craftable parts and pieces. But, um... Alright, yeah. Um, like, there's some areas, like, uh... The, the ones where, once they're cleared, they never come back are these. Any, uh, any of these. The, the house with the two swords in it. The abandoned site 
any and all of those. Uh, all of those is like we clear out the enemies and they don't come back because they actually have people come in and repopulate that zone. Oftentimes there's just like a random trader and a bone, just a, a handful of guards. How did I miss this roaming around out here? Hmm. Oh, there's a bear. Taking out my bows. Relatively recently. Well, <laughs> we found found the sword. Okay, so that was done. So we found the silver and the steel swords already. We have not found the armor. Need a key. Ah, we'll have to come back another time, I see. Okay, that's fine. We'll hold this for later. We'll hold on to these diagrams for later. But this means that now, for treasure hunts, there's only two left. So really gotta sort out how to get this done. Uh, where's the nearest signpost? We just went past it, right? So we just got uh, used to get here. So let's use that and get back to Novigrad, and then we will we'll see if we can track down this silver sword. Because that's that we really need that. So actually, I take that back. We don't have the silver sword yet. We don't have the steel sword. Ugh. Okay. All right. So we're back here. We can take this post. We take this post all the way. Oh my. Yeah, I'm glad we're not running. All the way to the gate. Excellent. All right. Post. Power. I'm gonna have to sort out how to get to that. It's the same thing as like how difficult it was to get to the um, the place right here or where was it? Like right right here or something. It's really difficult. Really difficult finding out where that uh, the basic uh, feline gear is. So. Maybe I shouldn't expect it to be easier for the rest. Alright. Here we go, up and around. Oh, can I get in here? Wait, what? It's on the inside, yeah? Hmm. Well, not a plant. Uh, or a platter. Uh, do you collect herbs or buy them? I collect them when we can. I buy them if we can't find them. How do we get in here again? Slot to the north. Let's see if we can get in from the north here. This looks like if we go up and around past the barber, we should be able to get down there. We'll see in just a bit. Life, you gotta take risks and not get fat. To the dog's life. All, right, all the way down. And remember, never venture into the beach alone. Don't be sick of something. These guys seem to be in pretty high spirits compared to recent events. That's good. All right, so it's like literally right here. Hello. Lone shark. <laughs> we found, we found the lone shark. All right, lone shark. What you got? Greetings. What have you got to pull, and how much do you need? Oh my goodness! What makes you think I need a loan? So much. Take a man that don't from time to time, and you don't look nor smell flush with coffee. Oh, you've known nothing. Just so happens I'm doing fine at the moment. Then maybe you'd like a look at what the less fortunate have. Uh, yeah, you come across as quite the experienced loan shark. Been a loan shark long? Aye, since I was just a little tight. Wait, what? So you helped your dad, took it over when he died. Nah, my own father left me here in pawn and never did redeem me. <laughs> oh. Well, oh, <laughs> okay. Show me what you have in stock. What you got on hand? A book. Change your life a handbook. Okay, uh, another day. Actually, we'll buy it after this, what this match. Why not? A few rounds of Gwent? Let's go get the card off of him, whatever card he's got. Especially now that we have ourselves. Now that we got Geralt. Should be easy peasy. 
Although we got Siri, but not Carol, but that's fine. Uh, what's he playing? Playing monsters? Okay, we really don't need this card then. <laughs> we really need that card. It's good. I'm honestly tempted to drop Scorch, but we'll hold on to Scorch. Because he does have muster cards. Um, we don't have anyone that actually can take bonuses in front line, so we're just going to swap out Dandelion. Dandelion, we might not actually hold on to long. Um, or I'm going to have to rejig this deck to do more melee. I'm going to have to rejig this deck for melee. Um, let's... We're going to start... Yeah, we're going to start with Siri. We're going to start big and bold. Okay, here we go. So, Archonops. Hopefully there's a whole bunch more to come. Perfect. There's a whole bunch of them. What we're now going to do is we're, I'm just literally going to scorch him. I should save it for if he's got the the ladies of the, uh, of the forest, though, shouldn't I? Play Vest America. We'll see what else, what else he's got. We'll see what else he's got. He's got another level four or a four fighter. Oh, my goodness. A Druger. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. I see you've uh, reverted to a completely wrong pronunciation. Uh, yeah, I have. I, I, I knew over time I was going to start forgetting how to pronounce these things. Uh, Eric, Eric, Erichos, 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 Erichos. <laughs> yes, this one's got the pine cone butt, and this one's got the the mushroom butt. No, this one is. We need to get venom from these guys, so we can actually make some potions. Some potions. Um, yeah, good enough. Let's scorch that. Oh, I scorched Vesp. Yeah, I'm a dingus. <laughs> scorch Vesmir. Sure. It's, as you do sometimes. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry, Vesmir. Didn't think about it. I'll have Roach come in here and we'll just win this round. It's like, <laughs> whoops. Yeah, re real big oofs there, right? <laughs> Rip Vesemir, sleep well. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Phew. We got the dragon. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll still win. We'll still win this. We've got cold and dragon. We're good. I, <laughs> I know, right? Right, left hand look. Oh my goodness. What a, what a bonehead move. What a bonehead move. But we've got dragon and decoy, so easy. Easy, easy, easy. We've got this. Play your cards. I dare. Hmm. Oh, that? Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I... Hmm. I needed those. <laughs> oh, no, I needed those. Oh, no. Oh, that's... That's really bad. The behemoth. Oh no. Okay. Um. We'll just we'll horn the front line, I guess. We'll hope the best. Here we go. I can't play this card now. Oh yes. Yes. You think you have power? Boom. You think this is power? As long as he doesn't have a Scorch, we're fine. Crones? Oh, dang it. We lost. Or did we? Two, four, six, eight, ten. No, we won. Right? Right? Play again. Kill the Crones. We frost. Oh, we were off by four. Dang it. And he wins this one by default because we don't draw a card and he has a card. He keeps a card. Oh, so close. Ah, uh, rips. Darn it. Defeat. Wow, we haven't been defeated in a while. All right, Lone Shark. Hello there. Horny old body. All right, Lone Shark. I see how it is. I see what you're up to. 
What would you say to a few rounds of Gwent? Come on now. Give, 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 me, another, give me another shot to win this thing back. Hmm? Let's see. Let's see if we can win that money back. It's not really the money, it's the dignity more than anything. Here we go. Drop dandelion. Oh, there we go. Drop the ballista. Nice. Two decoys. Uh, we are missing our dragon, which would make life a lot easier. But it's good enough. It's good enough. It's good enough. I will scorch and not kill Vesemir this time. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we got Geralt. And we got another hunter. Oh my goodness. What? You're the mysterious elf? Oh, okay. Huh. Alright. Go ahead and we'll play Blue Strength. Is this four instead of the five? <gasps> yes! Play it again. Please. I'll keep drawing. Alright, we'll go ahead and we'll use Roach here to bolster our strength there. Oh, you're not gonna play the spy? Really? Ooh, okay. A little annoying. We can play him. Yeah, we'll play him. And this is 16. Still think there might be a Scorch. Okay, we got Prince Dennis back. We'll go ahead and we'll do the same thing. We'll decoy Stennis back into our hands. We can draw more. And Stennis is a little five, er, a five power, and this is a five power, so we can still take advantage of Scorch to kill him. Playing a four. Ah, dang. Okay. Oh, wait, no, we can't Scorch, because we'll kill this one. Keep an eye on that. <laughs> we can't play Scorch, because we'll lose. Uh, oh! Perfect. And for our fledglings. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Um... Okay. Uh, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's got twenty on the field if we go ahead and we do this. And we'll have what? Uh, fourteen. If we do this. Let me just play Philip and we can win. So we'll start with a biting frost. I wonder if he's got a clear day, uh, clear weather. If he's got a clear weather, we could be in trouble. No, oh, he passes. Nice. That's perfect. So we can just play Philippa, and we're done. And we're all we're done here. He's here already. So yeah, if we play Philippa, which will win us, but we pull him back. We still win by one, and we can now use her to resurrect him because he's the only one that's not a unique. Nice. It didn't seem like he had a Scorch. So that's good. And we got Vesemir. Perfect. Alright, Vesemir. You're up. We'll follow suit. Alright, boosting up your front line, which is fine. We can we can still combat that. We have the ability to boost as well. Although we'll boost our midline instead. Crones. Oh, the crones are scary. But luckily, the crones are the most powerful ones he has. Oh, nice. And one of the next one came from his hand. So we can actually just scorch him. Scorch. Gone. <laughs> Try again. Okay. So only got one card left. That's a win. We like to call that a win. Very nice. A frightener. Oh, so frightening. Oh, so scary. However, how many points can we win by? Twenty, forty, and oh my goodness! <laughs> Demolished. 
Overkilled, most assuredly. Barely scraped by on round one, though. Did some serious math, though. All right, we got our crowns back, so we didn't lose any money. We broke even, and we got a Vitir de Rideau. Who is Vitir de Rideau? It's gotta be Nilfgaard, yeah? They, oh, we got the spy. Got him. Nice. So now three of the three of the I think there are there are only three spies for Nilfgaard, right? There's two for Northern Kingdoms, and there's three for Nilfgaard, is that right? There might be one more that I'm missing. I am not including the uh Yelvin Wizard, of course. Because you know he's of course. Uh who can I drop from here? We drop from Jilla, I guess. Oh no no no! We <laughs> drop this to uh, this fire scorpion for sure. Not needed. We'll need him. Power five backline. Nah. But yeah, I think we'll start playing some other decks soon. Uh, let's go ahead and Hello grab there. that uh, that Pauline book. Old boy. Give me that book. Also, how much? I didn't check how much money he's got. We might be able to sell some stuff here. The seven hundred and change. It's not bad. Can't read it from here? Okay. All right, let's resort all of our inventory. Scroll to the bottom. Start selling some useless junk. 18 skulls, oh my goodness. Okay, sure. Nothing suspicious, sir. I merely walk around with 18 skulls. Why, why don't you? Here, buy some. They do, they do wonders for your soul. Butter knives, mugs, fist tech. Uh, what is this? The ornate sword? I wonder what those from. Dolls, and then what do we use? Black magic dolls. Pelt or seashell. Okay, perfect. Done. Nice. I think we dropped 10? 15? Weights? Nice. Got a little bit of money of it. Not much, but a little bit. So long. What just finished? Some quest just finished. I don't know. What you got it? What the? Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, the door's locked. I, I, I tried to go up and take a right, but, um, because you can see that it continues there, but there's a door at the landing to stop you. Interesting. Look! Where's Eustace? Alright, so next. <laughs> I don't know if it's in that building. I must have just missed it. So we work shifts. Crematory's fire rules day and night. Did I really just miss it? There's no way. No, it's because it's the wrong building. It still worked out all the same. Oh my goodness. Hello and welcome, Raiders. Hello and welcome, Raiders. Welcome, chilling. How are you guys doing today? I think we have to go around from the other side. Yeah, it looks like we have to go around from the other side. Yes, uh, there was a ladder on the ledge, was there? Did I miss that? Really? Oh, there is. There is. There is. Good eye. Good eye. Can we go through this door? Yes, we can. What we got in here? A shilling. What are we up to? Totally not modern rim world? Nice. <laughs> how's, the, uh, how's the colony faring so far? Is it not burning yet? The, uh, st still, still running like a normal colony, or but you no. Know, by normal, I mean like day five colony in Room World, before everything falls apart really, really quickly. There it is. There's a silver sword. Enhanced version. Nice. Boop. All right. Where's Eustace? Is him always all of the corpses? Oh yeah. Wait, what happens against this? Shifts. Crematory's fire roars day and night. Good. See that it's clean. Steel and fire. Hey, it's raining. If you want it again. clean, let me pass. I've got shit and pus leaking from the wagon. Aye. Right away. I met you, mate. 
True. <laughs> I can't really argue with that one. All right. Um. So we yeah, which contracts? Okay, so now we're down to wait. What? Do I still have to get the? Do I still have to get the boots? Maybe I already had it, and it had both as markers for some reason. But wait, what? Did that just disappear? Huh. Thus, in reality, it's the Northern Realms that has a real spy deck. May maybe. Uh, Randy really loves his Manhunter packs. It's true, he does. He does. Randy Random really does. Uh, you literally had three at one point with twenty, oh, two X twenty squirrels, and one that was ten cobras. That's amazing. An absolute horde of squirrels coming to kill you. That's pretty funny. Uh, maybe you already had it. I think I already had it. I can't think of any other reason why. Let's go to crafting. Uh, what was it? It was the feline boots. Yeah, I already have feline boots. And uh, feline sword? Yeah, feline sword. Cool. So other than getting meteor uh, meteorite silver iron, which we, or silver ingot, which we can build, we can craft that thing. Um, we have everything we need. We're saying master crafted. We don't have like <laughs> some superior crafted, but I don't have any of the basic ones. And I have the enhanced and the master crafted, but I don't have the upgraded version or the basic version needed for this. Wow, the the woven one's just better. Sign intensity, adrenaline, and chance of bleeding experience. What? Arden poison. Adrenaline, crit, crit, okay, dismember, and then sign intensity. Yeah, Wolven's better. Huh. Anyway, um, if we go back to quests, it means the only thing left here on Treasure Hunt is this one. Which, where does this take me? Right here? Oh, we have to go somewhere else, I see. Oh my goodness, hello and welcome, danger. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, what were you up to, Danger? What was the game of choice today? So, apparently, where do we need to go for this one? Ah, it's a Skellige quest. I see, I see. Alright, cool. So we didn't have to worry about that. Ah, oh, I should have. Oh, dear. Easy peasies. It's right there. It tells you. Right, so we still have all these here. So all of these here. So I guess we'll go back to focusing. Actually, we can do so of Sword and Dumplings. If we want, instead of continuing on with um, not high stakes, Getting close. Where, what was the um, we were just doing the assassination thing? What what quest is that? I think we had to go back and talk to them, but I don't see it actually in here. Talk to the scribes. That's for Wins. Master Arms. Neat cards. Neat near the collapsed bridge. I have to take a look at that. Oh, that's for Skellige, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. What about the shield is? Where's the... Wait, did we just, like, finish everything we can do so far for that? I missed it? Maybe I did. Well, well, well. Yeah, we're definitely not doing that quest right now. Um, we need to pick something that we're gonna do. I guess main quest? Or, wait, are we just, like, done over here? Or more or less done? Just need to do some high-stakes Gwent, and then kind of go from there? I guess we'll do this one. Of sword and dumplings next. Get the uh, the master weapon smith unlocked, so we can go ahead and start getting high quality um, runes and the like to go stick on our weapons and armor. 
Give us a bit more of a, uh, a leg up. As it were. Looks like rain. Run on through here. Hey, SimCity, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Good having you here. Find us. Go to the docks after dusk. So we can do. Captain's log. Captain's log. We've dealt with a whole bunch of shenanigans from Dandelion himself, setting up his old brothel into a cabaret, a place that he can entertain the masses in the comfort of his own establishment. Unfortunately, um, unfortunately, malevolence struck as a man who turned out later to be an elder, a higher vampire, was going around town destroying anyone who would blaspheme against the eternal fire. Geralt, in his wisdom and courage, tracked down this vampire and slew him. Priscilla was caught in the crossfires, but it seems as though she may recover. Also, a lot of running around. Doing a lot of little side quests and the like as well. But that was the big one that we've done today. That was the big one we did today. It was good. Um, it's the quest line called Cabaret. Quest line called Cabaret. Alright, so... I need to dump our inventory. I mean, we can still run around. Our weight's not that bad. I've got three shirts on me. <laughs> I should just go and throw them somewhere. We can buy shirts when we need them. I need to throw away some of this like, crafting equipment too. Is there any alchemy we can get sorted before we go jump onto the next quest? We can make more white gold. We can make one more white gold. I might as well just jump on it immediately. We're gonna need it. Uh, let's see here. Decoctions, oils, potions. None of this. I can't make any. Uh, requires the basic enhance, which still requires the Ericos Venom, which you can't get. Uh, actually, this one just requires a Rebus. It's not bad. This one just requires uh, Cubrith. This one requires Vermilion. Uh, this one actually, oh, this one actually requires, um, we actually have to go back to White Orchard to get more of these. And Buckthorn, Buckthorn, which is getting the water, it's easy. And you actually just need a second thing of vitriol. I might actually just grab this. The Superior Swallow. It's more useful, I think, out of the bunch. Some of them are really nice, but... Finally, the Devour... Actually, now that I have the Devour Blood. If we had Hydrogen, we could get our Necrophage Oil from 25% damage to 50. Which is way more useful than this one. We don't really fight the Relics um, quite as often. I don't think we need that. So what do we need for this? Hydrogum? Hydrogum. Hydrogum. Now oh, we're missing Ergot Seeds. <laughs> of course. Vermilion's missing Ergot Seeds. This is missing Mistletoe. Uh, we can at least get this one done, which is what's needed for uh, the, the Vitriol. The vitriol is used for this one, is that right? Yeah, Vitriol. Let's, can we, we can at least get the uh, Enhanced Swallow online, which is good. That done. We need to pick up some more allspice. Actually, we need a bunch of these ingredients. We're getting real low on them. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. Perfect. Okay, so that's done. Um, and then the necrophage oil will be the only other one, but we can't do that yet. I think hybrid, we can't. Nope, nope. We just don't have what we need. We need to go find another rampaging troll. Or at least what it comes down to. I wonder where we can go and pick this up. Hmm. She need more white gold if we're gonna do anything else. It's fine. Man, there's twelve thousand buckarinos. It's nuts. That is nuts. Yes, yes, they can. Sir. Just came to shoot. Some people are already fishing. Alright, uh, we're going to go ahead and unfortunately end the stream oh. here today. Oh my goodness, as the guy leaves. Well, there you go. Oh my goodness, look at this thing rocking. Um, I might want to put a weight on that or something. The wind is incredibly fierce. Look at the thing rock. Jeez. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to end the stream here today. We're going to end the stream here today. We've gotten to the end. Um, let's go find some... Yep, yep, that's exactly right. Time for bed. Let's go find someone to raid. Let's go 
we'll find someone to raid. But we'll be back again tomorrow. However, tomorrow we'll be back to Stellaris. I think we're pretty much... We should, I think, finish up our Stellaris playthrough tomorrow. I think we just have, like, one uh, Forgotten Empire and one Connie left to go and crush onto the boot of our... Um, our council, our senate, um, and once that's done, time for a new one. Uh, let's see here. Who can we grab? Who's playing this game? Let's go ahead and read this guy. I've not seen this guy uh, play this game before. Why not? Right? Always like raiding new people. Always like trying to spread it as much as we can. Give people on the low end a little bit of recognition. Um, but yeah, so we've gone ahead and we've put some more emotes together. So there's emotes for people to play with while we're offline. But otherwise, when we're back, we can keep playing with the ones that are for anyone who's hanging out here. All right, let's go ahead and put this raid together. Jump on over. I'll hang out for a little bit. It doesn't look like they're that far into the game. So I don't have to jump immediately, but I am pretty tired. So I'll probably just have them in the background for a smidgen here while I go in to get things ready for bed. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out, everyone. Thanks again for all the raids. I really appreciate that. Uh, danger and shilling. I do appreciate that a bunch. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for everyone hanging out. And I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.